Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Job Transfer for All People. I became a mythical beast master at the beginning. Chapter 1, Frost Frost City, the third middle school playground. No, why should I change my job to be a tailor? No, be content, I just changed my job to become a clown, and the work in the circus has been booked in advance. Hey, my luck is the best, and I successfully changed to a combat class, wow ha ha ha. I'll go, boss is awesome, tell me, are you a warrior or a mage? Yes, yes, I would like to be a hair on the big brother's leg. Pendants are also fine, big brother please cover. Wait and go, is my brother's thigh something you can touch casually? Hee <laughs> hee, goddess, guess what I change jobs. At this moment, the job-changing tycoon with all the stars and the moon is leaning in front of a good-looking female classmate with a flattering face, and asked mysteriously. With a slap, he was slapped aside by the female classmate, who was still staring at the job transfer platform in front of him with a little dissatisfaction. Go away, don't delay me watching the male god's job change. The eyes converged, and at this time on one of the job transfer platforms, a slender figure with a handsome face was standing on it, preparing to transfer jobs according to the teacher's guidance. TCH, where does it look good? Seeing this, the male student immediately became annoyed, you are so handsome these days. Hush, brother, if you don't want to be killed by all the girls in the school, you should shut up. The classmate next to him covered the mouth of the male classmate and reminded him. Hiss, the male student tightened his chrysanthemum when he heard the words, and immediately became honest when he saw the murderous eyes of all the girls around him. After a while, he lowered his voice and asked, Who is this guy? He's so charming. Are you a day student, brother? You don't even know him. After squinting at him, someone explained in a low voice, His name is Chen Zan, he used to be the young master of the Chen family, and now he is the god and schoolmaster of all the girls in the school. The Chen family, the Chen family that was full of dead bodies overnight three years ago. Yeah, that time because this kid escaped a disaster in the training hall, I thought he would be decadent, but I didn't expect to be among the best all the way, and what's more, he's more handsome than me. In this Yangu's world, accept your fate, brother, I'm curious what profession he will change to. It must be a combat class. I heard that before the Chen family was destroyed, the head of the family was a mage. Mage, the combat profession, or the long-range turret, the key is to be handsome. I'm so so sore. This may be the legendary saying that if you survive a catastrophe, you will be blessed. Look, his job change has begun. Oh my god, what career will my male god change to? That goes without saying, Gigi must be a mage. Not necessarily, maybe it's a stronger special profession. While everyone was discussing, there was a bang, and an extremely bright light shot up from the magic circle on the job transfer platform. The dizzying fluctuation instantly shocked everyone. All go, it's really a special class. This kid is lucky, right? The Stormbringer, the Flame Guardian, or the Thunder Demon. Countless eyes of anticipation were focused on Chen Zan, eagerly waiting for the news of his job change. The next moment, a mechanical notification sounded on the job transfer platform. The job change is complete, congratulations to Chen Zan for being a beast master. What, beast master, did I hear you right? Is he the most expensive beast master among special professions? Ha ha, what you say will surely bring good fortune. I didn't expect to be a beast master. Is it actually a beast master? On the job transfer stage, Chen Zan was slightly taken aback when he heard the prompt. As a special branch of the basic professional mage class, the beast master is a combat profession with contracted beasts as the main means. It sounds like a great name, but in fact, it not only requires the beast master to upgrade and change his job, but also spends a lot of resources for the contracted beast to upgrade the level. If you don't upgrade the contracted beast, it's too bad to rely on your own combat power to grow. Simply put, it takes several times the price to get twice the effect. Even the expensive mage profession can't compare to the speed of burning money of the beast master. Generally, 99% of those who can shine in the profession of beast masters are professionals with strong family backgrounds and strong financial resources. In other words, a hairless phoenix like Chen Zan, no, even the previous Chen family was just a small family in Frost Frost City, and couldn't afford the growth of a beast master at all. 
Well, it would be a lie to say that he is not depressed. Chen Zan, who has traveled to this world for 10 years, never imagined that the life he envisioned for Fei would have ended before it even started. It seemed that even the teacher could see the change in his expression and couldn't help comforting him softly. Chen Zan, although the Beast Master burns money, the growth rate is extremely high, and the school also supports this aspect. You can go to the strange beast to get a strange beast egg for free. Thank you, teacher. Cleaning up his mood, Chen Zan nodded slightly to the teacher, turned around and walked down the job transfer platform. Fortunately, he has been a human being in two lifetimes, and his psychological endurance is strong enough, so he quickly accepted this reality. Almost subconsciously, Chen Zan opened the own job transfer panel for the first time. Suddenly, a translucent light curtain that only he could see emerged from his eyes. But before Chen Zan took a closer look, he found that the light curtain was distorted quickly, accompanied by a whistling sound like electric current. This kind of sound came and went quickly, and disappeared in less than two seconds, and the panel light curtain became clear. When Chen Zan saw it clearly, he couldn't help but gasped. Name, Chen Zan, Occupation, Mythical Beast Master, Turn 1, The Only Special Hidden Occupation. Level, LV1, Life, 12,000, Every 1 point of strength can increase 10 points of life. Magic Power, 26,000, Every 1 point of spirit can increase the value of magic power by 10 points. Strength, 12, The average value of an ordinary adult who has not changed jobs is 6. Agility, 10. Spirit, 26. Skills, God's contract, God's gift, God's feedback, God's blessing. Contract beast, none. Battle power, 1 star. Available attribute points, 10. Hiss. Chen Zan paused slightly, completely shocked by this scene. Mythical beast master, what does it mean? And isn't there only two skills in one turn? Why do I have four? After a brief moment of doubt, Chen Zan opened the skill panel. God's contract active, the contract signed by God's attention, the number of contracted beasts will be increased by one per turn, and any external force cannot forcibly change the contract after signing, the contracted beast's loyalty is 100%, active skills. Gift of God active, a gift from the gods, only effective for contracted beasts. After it takes effect, it can forcibly match the potential of contracted beasts and upgrade them to mythical quality. God's feedback after each God's gift, there is a 100% probability of getting some attribute feedback of the contracted beast itself, and a high probability of getting some of the opponent's skills and talent feedback. God's blessing, you who have been blessed by the gods and the contracted beast after the blessing of the gods enjoy the following privileges. Privilege 1. Hundredfold increase in HP and magic power. Privilege 2. There is no need to sing and shake forward to release skills, and the release consumption is reduced by a hundred times. Privilege 3. A hundredfold increase in skill control, and a hundredfold increase in magic power recovery speed. Privilege 4. Skill cooldown time reduced by 10 times. This, is this the mythical beast master? Seeing the introduction of the entire four major skills, Chen Zan's heart was shaken severely. What is the beast master most afraid of? Of course, the contracted beast cannot grow, or it has insufficient potential. But now the gift of God directly allows the contracted beast to reach the top in one step, possessing ceiling level mythical qualifications, saving countless resources and hard work in an instant. Even, according to the introduction of the skill, no matter which contracted beast Chen Zan signs, he can forcibly increase the other party's aptitude. This skill is simply overbearing. So, if I can track the most common beast, I can also upgrade it to mythic quality. Thinking of this, Chen Zan's heart instantly became hot, and all the previous haze was swept away. Even the footsteps of stepping down the job transfer platform became brisk. Ha ha, am I right? What's the use of being handsome? Beast masters are useless in the early stage. If you want to output but not output, if you want to control but not control, you can't even use a meat shield. I think. The boy who was mad at Chen Zan by the goddess saw Chen Zan and couldn't help but want to say a few words, but while talking, his voice suddenly weakened. Because the strong murderous aura around him began to gather from the bodies of many girls, he almost tore himself apart. What are you doing? He is already a beast master. No future. I am a warrior. Shouldn't I accept your support? 
Just when he was full of confusion, the goddess he was most optimistic about next to him walked over with a distressed expression and said shyly. Chen, Chen Zan, don't be discouraged. Isn't it just a little more money? No, I can help you. Yes, yes, and me, I will save all my pocket money in the future to help you buy food for the contracted beast. When your contracted beast grows up, maybe we will hug your thigh. Seeing a series of gentle comforting figures, all the male students were completely paralyzed. Who would have thought that what was supposed to be a good sarcasm had turned into such a scene? Snort, a group of little whores who only know how to love vanity, why isn't it me who loves me? Sensing the enthusiasm around him, Chen Zan frowned indiscernibly. He was deceived too much in his previous life, and he would not easily trust others, nor would he easily accept help from others. Smiling at the top hats of the girls around, Chen Zan nodded and said, Thanks, I don't need it yet. After speaking, he turned around and found a place where there were few crowds to stand still, quietly waiting for the completion of all job transfers. This scene was seen by the school leaders on the high platform, and they thought it was Chen Zan who found out that he had changed his job as a beast master and felt depressed. Hey, I finally got a special job, I didn't expect. The principal sighed softly, with a hint of regret in his tone. If it's a special mage, I'm afraid joining the top 100 guilds in the country after the college entrance examination is already a certainty, but now, alas. Regarding the principal's sigh, the other teachers also nodded in agreement. He looked at Chen Zan with more sympathy. Compared to them, Chen Zan should be the most uncomfortable. Chen Zan is really feeling very uncomfortable now, he can't wait to go to school to get a free alien beast egg and try it out. But the transfer was not completed, and he had no way to leave without authorization, so he could only wait bitterly. Finally, after more than an hour, all job transfers were over. Of the nearly 1,000 candidates in the number, three middle school, less than 50 of them were successfully transferred to combat occupations. Among them, there are only two mages, and there is no special profession except Chen Zan. The headmaster is quite satisfied with such results, even surpassing last year's level. Everyone, there is only half a month left before the college entrance examination, so no matter what career you change to, in the next time, you must try to improve your own level as much as possible, and strive to get ideal grades, successfully join the ideal guild. The smiling headmaster suddenly gave a mysterious smile. Besides, just a spoiler, this year's college entrance examination questions are a rare opportunity for everyone. If everyone works hard enough, maybe they can get rich overnight. Quote. What, chance, get rich overnight, I'll go, this is a bit too much information. No way, the principal must have lied to us to work hard to upgrade. No, my dad works in the proctor office. He mentioned it to me before. I didn't believe it at first, but now I do. What, then what are you waiting for? The novice leveling area forms a team and walks up. Who wants to get in the car? I want, I want, boss take me. Comma. Hearing this news, many students were overwhelmed, especially the fighting professions, and they all left one after another to go to the novice leveling area to prepare for leveling. Many girls offered an olive branch to Chen Zan, hoping to form a team with him to upgrade. It even includes a girl who has changed her job as a mage. Let everyone envy and hate a group. However, what people didn't expect was that Chen Zan declined the other party with a smile. He doesn't even have a contracted beast now. Wouldn't it just be a waste of experience if he went there? Chen Zan had no intention of being a fool, so naturally he couldn't agree. After bidding farewell to the enthusiastic female classmates, Chen Zan went to the school's animal management office. Hi teacher, let me pick a free alien egg. Where are the documents? Chen Zan handed the student ID in his hand to the other party, and a Mediterranean teacher took it and glanced at the instrument with a flash of surprise in his eyes. Beast master, what a pity. He shook his head and reached out to open the door. Come in, there are not many alien eggs inside, you can choose it yourself. Five minutes later, Chen Zan walked out holding a strange beast egg with a red pattern. There are indeed not many inside including the one in his hand, there are only three in total. All the way back home, Chen Zan put the alien egg in his hand on the sofa. The beast egg is only the size of a palm, and you can even feel the heartbeat coming from it when you caress it gently. Although it is of black iron quality, it is enough. 
Chen Zan caressed and started talking to himself. Alien beasts can be divided into nine grades according to their quality, namely, black iron, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, starlight, epic, legend, and myth. For a general first turn beast master, the more powerful the beast, the harder it is to contract. Therefore, it is one of the safest ways to choose a strange beast egg that gives birth to a strange beast. Without hesitation, Chen Zan put his hand on the beast egg, and directly activated his own skill, God's Contract. Hum, a faint white light burst out from the palm, and then penetrated into the alien beast egg. Hint the contract is successful. That's it. Chen Zan thought there was going to be some exaggerated effect, but he didn't expect it to succeed so quickly. At the same time as the prompt appeared, a crack appeared on the originally white eggshell with a click. The crack was getting bigger and bigger, and then a small pointed mouth was exposed, and then quickly pecked open the eggshell. Not long after, a bird-like beast that was less than the size of a palm landed on the sofa. Red Firebird, Black Iron. Race, Bird, Level, LV1. Life, 30. Magic Power, 50. Power, 3. Agility, 10. Spirit, 5. Skill, Fireball, Battle Power, 0.3 stars. Loyalty, 100%. Evaluation, it is a kind of rubbish among the fire-type beasts. If it is well cultivated, the fireball it spits out should be able to light a cigarette. It was the first time I saw Chen Zan, a contracted beast whose combat power was lower than that of the Beastmaster, but it didn't matter, he had a second skill. Chen Zan thought about it and directly used the second skill, God's Gift, on the Red Fire Bird. Hum, the same ray of light emerged from the palm, and then completely enveloped the Red Fire Bird. The red fire bird who just opened his eyes felt the fluctuations around him and raised his head in horror. But before it could react, it was completely enveloped by a warm force. In an instant, unimaginable changes began to emerge from his body. The light red feathers deepened and became blazing like a flame, and a huge phantom rose from its body, turning into a bathing phoenix full of raging flames. A supernatural and terrifying aura erupted, making Chen Zan unable to bear the shock. My god, what level of beast did this turn into? Before his shock dissipated, the phantom disappeared in a flash, as if nothing had ever happened. As for the red firebird in front of him, except for the brighter feather color, there is no other change at all. Did it fail? Chen Zan was puzzled, opened the own attribute panel, and found the detailed panel of the red firebird in the column of the contracted beast. Red Flame Fire Phoenix Myth. Race. Phoenix Bird. Level. LV-15. Life, 421,000. Magic power, 568,000. Power, 421. Agility, 289. Spirit, 568. Skills, Super Fireball, Level 7, Explosive Earth Flame, Level 8, Tornado of Flame, Level 8. Wang Wang Nirvana Flame, Forbidden Curse. Battle power, 56 stars. Loyalty, 100%. Evaluation. The strongest fire-type beast, the supreme existence that controls flames, once it reaches adulthood, it can burn the void and burn the gods. Hiss. The attribute panel, which was so garbage that I couldn't bear to look at it just now, kept climbing like a rocket. If he was not convinced that he was not mistaken, Chen Zan would have doubted whether his eyes were dazzled. This little guy who looks harmless to humans and animals, and even a little cute, turned into the divine beast Qian Huahuang. Even the level has increased by more than 10 levels, reaching the point of 10 fifth level. The attributes skyrocketed to the point of shame. Even the evaluation of combat power suddenly became 56 stars. However, Chen Zan feels that this evaluation may not be accurate enough. Because he clearly saw the figure of the forbidden spell, Myriad Phoenix Nirvana Flame, among the series of skills in the skill bar. If you can cast all the forbidden spells, let alone 56 stars, even 560 stars are not enough to evaluate. But it should be in its infancy, right? Chen Zan glanced at the own little red bird with a cute face, lost in thought. But at this moment, another reminder sounded in my mind. Reminder, God's feedback is in effect, congratulations on getting the rewards. Strength plus 40, Agility plus 30, Spirit plus 60, Acquired Skills, Wang Wang Nirvana, Forbidden Curse. Hum. Chen Zan only felt his body tremble, 
like a warm current flowing through his whole body, and then he felt that his whole body was filled with explosive power, and his mind became extremely clear. Nearly one-tenth of the attributes were directly extracted. This is too cool, right? You must know that after changing jobs, professionals can only have 10 free attribute points for every first level upgrade. With just this one action, Chen Zan directly increased his attributes by nearly 130 points, which is equivalent to a terrifying increase of 10 third levels. What shocked him even more was that the skill he extracted was actually a forbidden spell. Is this just picking the best draw? It's weird, but I like it. The corners of Chen Zan's mouth began to rise uncontrollably. He can get such a promotion with one contracted beast. How many more? Then take off in place. At this moment, Chen Zan's eyes on the little red bird suddenly felt extremely pleasing to the eye. The little red bird also looked at Chen Zan and jumped onto his shoulder very affectionately. It tilted its small head and rubbed against Chen Zan's cheek to express its love for its master. Seeing this, Chen Zan felt more at ease. You must know that the loyalty of the contracted beast is not 100% when it is contracted, but it needs to fight with the beast master constantly, and it will increase little by little after cultivating feelings. Even if the owner intentionally abuses the contracted beast, it will cause a decrease in loyalty. Once it falls below 60%, there is even a risk of fleeing and rebelling. It's just that here with Chen Zan, there is nothing to worry about. Now that there is such a powerful contracted beast, Chen Zan can't help but want to test the opponent's combat power. Name, Chen Zan. Occupation, Mythical Beast Master, Turn 1, The Only Special Hidden Occupation. Level, LV1. Life, 52,000. Magic Power, 86,000. Strength, 52. Agility, 40. Spirit, 86. Skills, God's Contract, God's Gift, God's Feedback, God's Blessing, Myriad Phoenix Nirvana Flame, Forbidden Curse. Contract Beast, Scarlet Flame Fire Phoenix. Battle Power, 8 Stars. Available Attribute Points, 10. Beast Master, as a branch of magicians, naturally has Spirit as the main attribute, so he did not hesitate to add 10 points to Spirit. Increase the upper limit of own magic power by another thousand points. Looking at his current HP and mana, Chen Zan decided to skip the areas that need to be leveled in the general novice area, and find a place that is suitable for Kai Yan Huo Huang. Comma. Outside Yingshuang City, Chen Zan, who was dressed in black casual clothes, was standing outside an endless thorny jungle. In front of his eyes, a translucent light curtain emerged. Piranha Jungle, Normal Leveling Area, Recommended Level LV10 LV15, Warning, Do not enter below Level 10, Life is in Danger. Xiao Yan, you are now a level 15 boss, you should be able to handle it right. Chen Zan glanced at the little red bird the size of a palm standing on his shoulder, and couldn't help asking. Chirp, Xiao Yan nodded his head a few times, and then raised his head in a sunere manner, as if to say, a mere mob can't trouble others at all. Yeah, you are the best, Chen Zan touched its head with a smile, then ignored the danger warning on the light curtain, and stepped into it with one step. Surrounded by the dense forest, dark green vines like giant pythons are wrapped around the trees, and there are light red flower buds that are about to bloom at intervals. Each flower bud is the size of a human head, and it looks a little heavy hanging on the vine. But when Chen Zan approached, there was a, shua, sound, and those flower buds rose up as if they were alive. The wrapped buds also bloom in an instant. Hiss. Inside, the mouths full of ferocious barbs are constantly opening and closing as if seeing prey. But such a big mouth is not only one, but densely covered on every vine. Moreover, vines began to spread down from the tree trunk, swimming towards Chen Zan like poisonous snakes. It didn't take long before Chen Zan found himself completely surrounded. Looking at it, you can also see the information floating on the heads of these piranhas. Ordinary Piranha, LV10 Ordinary Piranha, LV10. Comma. Seeing the vines getting closer, without waiting for Chen Zan's order, Xiao Yan on his shoulder moved directly. Chirp. Hearing Xiao Yan's cry, the next moment, Chen Zan felt his feet vibrate inexplicably. There was only a click, and a crack suddenly appeared from the ground not far away, and then more and more, bigger and bigger. Incomparably blazing flames gushed out from the cracks, 
completely devouring all the spreading vines and even trees within hundreds of meters around in just a moment. Sensing that fiery breath, Chen Xuanrao couldn't help showing shock despite his preparations. This is the Eighth Order Explosive Earth Flame. Is this power too powerful? Chirp, Xiaoyan Sunere nodded, but corrected herself. What, is this the result of your deliberate control? Or could it be bigger? Chen Zan was really shocked by the effect of this skill, it's too strong. Before he could recover from the shock, he heard reminders ringing from his ears one after another. Reminder, you killed an ordinary piranha LV-10, experience plus 5-7, contracted beast experience plus 6. Reminder, you killed an ordinary piranha LV-10, experience plus 5-0, contracted beast experience plus 5. Hint, you killed a medium piranha LV-12, experience plus 8-2, contracted beast experience plus 8. Comma, reminder, your level has increased, and you will get 10 attribute points. Reminder, your level has increased, and you will get 10 attribute points. Reminder, your level has increased, and you will get 10 attribute points. Comma, haha, continuous promotion to 5th level, cool. Chen Zan couldn't help laughing, he didn't expect that Xiaoyan's level would soar all the way to LV5 with one skill. You know, 99 out of 10 newbies who have just changed their profession want to start at least 3 days at the fastest if they want to upgrade to LV5, and they have to form a team to go to the novice area to farm monsters. But how long has he used it? It didn't even take a minute to add up. The contrast is simply beyond words. Not only that, but a lot of materials even came out of these piranhas that were killed. Piranha fangs, piranha seeds, piranha corrosion juice. Although the price of these materials is not high, they cannot support the large quantity. So Chen Zan received all of them into his job transfer space without any waste. After witnessing Xiaoyan's fighting strength just now, Chen Zan finally let go of his heart. He strode forward without hesitation towards the depths of the piranha jungle. With the blessing of God, Xiaoyan not only has amazing mana, but also reduces the cooldown time of skills by 10 times. Coupled with the dense variety of fire magic on its skill list, Chen Zan is not worried about his own safety at all. When the piranha raised its head, it didn't matter, a super fireball hit it, and even the roots of the tree were burned to ashes. What should I do if I am surrounded by piranhas and the cooldown of the explosive flame cannot be used? It doesn't matter, a flame dragon rolls down, even scraping off a layer of ground. And to do all this, Chen Zan only needs to move his mouth. Good job, Xiaoyan. Great, Xiaoyan, burn them to death. Harvest haha, Xiaoyan, you are too good. In less than half an hour, Chen Zan directly soared from LV5 to LV10. Even Xiaoyan himself has improved his first level. Chirp, Xiaoyan waved her wings and circled in front of Chen Zan. Yeah, you're amazing, you're the best. Chen Zan praised without hesitation, Xiaoyan was so good when he was young, he must be even better when he grows up. Chirp, what, you have something more powerful. Chen Zan nodded with a smile, okay, okay, such a big jungle is enough for you. Go ahead, show your best, and the master applauds you. Quote, Chirp, Xiao Yan nodded heavily, and then flew into the midair in a circle. Chen Zan stood there like a spectator looking up at the little guy getting ready, feeling a little curious about what skill he was going to use. Seventh, eighth, or ninth? If it is the ninth level, the power is a bit terrifying. However, as the master, he will not be harmed by the skills of the contracted beast, so he is not too worried. Chi 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 chi. But when Xiao Yan's cry fell, a look of doubt appeared on Chen Zan's face. What did it just say? Wang Wang Nirvana Flame. Seems like a curse. Chen Zan was stunned for two seconds, and suddenly his expression changed drastically. I let you cast it, but didn't let you cast the forbidden spell. He instinctively wanted to stop it, but found it was too late. Rumble. There was a muffled sound in the sky without warning, and then I felt the rich fire elements frantically gathering in the void. Just two seconds later, a phoenix with a length of tens of meters at one end, a wingspan of more than 100 meters, and a whole body made of flames suddenly emerged. Crazy. As soon as it condensed, the lifelike fire phoenix raised its head to the sky and let out a long howl. Its body was divided into two parts, then into four parts, and then into eight parts. In an instant, a huge sky above the head was densely covered. 
the blazing flame breath almost scorched the air. Then countless phantoms of the fire phoenix spread their wings at the same time, and swooped down towards the piranha forest like shooting stars. Boom boom boom. In front of Chen Zan, apart from the raging flames, there was the terrifying sound of fire elements bursting and raging. The huge piranha forest turned into a sea of flames almost instantly. Any piranhas, ancient trees, and leaders of piranhas were completely reduced to ashes without even screaming. Wang Wang Nirvana Flame Only now did Chen Zan understand the true meaning of silence. Before he recovered from the shock, the reminder message had been completely swiped in his mind. Hint You killed a common piranha LV10, experience plus 2-3, contract beast experience plus 2. Hint You killed the high-level piranha LV13, experience plus 4-8, contracted beast experience plus 4. Hint You killed the piranha leader LV15, experience plus 8-9, contracted beast experience plus 10. Comma. Reminder Your level increases, and you get 10 attribute points. Reminder Your level increases, and you get 10 attribute points. Reminder Your level increases, and you get 10 attribute points. Comma. Reminder Your level has reached the upper limit, and the experience gained is forced to be plus 1. Reminder You killed the scarecrow puppet, the experience value obtained is plus 1, and the experience value of the contracted beast is plus 1. Hint You killed the scarecrow elite. All go, is this the full level? Chen Zan felt a little sluggish. This forbidden curse not only completely emptied the piranha jungle, but even killed all the wild monsters and other surrounding maps. The scope of this forbidden spell is huge, beyond his imagination. When all the prompts disappeared completely, a specially marked red prompt suddenly appeared. Reminder, your level has reached the upper limit, please go to the job transfer temple to accept the job transfer task as soon as possible. What, is this going to turn to? Chen Zan was stunned for a moment, and then suddenly realized that his level has reached LV30, and he can start the second rank mission. The job change came too fast, like a tornado, and he didn't recover for a while. Chen Zan had already learned in school that every professional who completed a job change would have to change another job after every 30th level. You can only continue to upgrade after completing the job transfer. Moreover, every time a job transfer is successful, one's own attributes will be greatly improved. In addition, two new skills can be obtained, which is simply a huge improvement. But don't worry about changing jobs, because Chen Zan has already been dazzled by the equipment bursting out all over the floor. Dried Scarecrow Heart, Crystal of the Piranha Leader, Rusty Sickle, dot 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 dot. In addition to materials, there are a lot of equipment appearing. If the finished equipment is sold by a commercial firm, the price will definitely be much higher than the material. Even, Chen Zan saw the shadow of the skill book from these rays of light. A bumper harvest, simply a super bumper harvest. While Chen Zan was counting the harvest, on the other side, in the main hall of the City Defense Command Center in the City Lord's Mansion of Frost Frost City. The tall, gray-haired City Lord Ji Leon was looking solemnly at the flashing instrument alarms in front of him. Just now, an extremely powerful magical wave was felt outside Frost Frost City, causing the entire protective barrier in Frost Frost City to call the police one after another. Among them, 35 formations were just scrapped by this fluctuation, and then scrapped directly. These alone are enough to make him, the city lord, very anxious. What worried him even more was that the terrifying hiss that resounded through the sky was likely to be a riot from a strange beast. Not long after, a man dressed as a scout walked in quickly. Seeing this person, the city lord quickly stood up and greeted him. How is it? Is there a beast tied? Reporting to the city lord, the subordinates only detected that the fluctuation came from the direction of the piranha jungle, and did not see any signs of strange beast riots. No riots, what the hell is going on? Ji Leon frowned tightly, could it be possible that there are high-rank professionals who release their skills? But that's just the piranha jungle, and they're all mobs. Which boss would go there to release skills when he has nothing to do? City lord, when the subordinates arrived, they did feel the presence of an incomparably rich fire element, and the entire piranha forest turned into a sea of flames. What? Ji Leon turned pale with shock, has the whole jungle been destroyed? Not only the piranha jungle, 
but also the scarecrow wheat field next to it, and the ruins of Yunmiao village have also been completely destroyed. The scout man paused, and told the news that Ji Lian almost fainted. What? Ji Lian He's eyes darkened, and he almost fell to the ground in shock. One skill destroys three maps, what level of skill does this release? Eighth order, or the ninth step, hiss. Ji Lian took a sharp breath and exclaimed, when did a giant with rank 8 or above appear in our frost city? My lord, do you want me to investigate again? The scout man thought for a while and couldn't help but said. But as soon as he finished speaking, Ji Lian raised his hand and gave him a big pussy. Do you want to die? With your three turn strength, you can't even bear the aftermath and you will be turned into ashes. He glared at his subordinate angrily. A giant of this level can kill three times with just a single breath, and going there is no different from delivering food. Then what to do? The scout man worried, such a big thing happened, if you don't understand it, how do you report it to your superiors? Ji Leon pondered for a moment, then looked into the distance through the window lattice. Wait a little longer, and when the volatility subsides, I'll go and have a look in person. In any case, he was at least a fourth-rank professional, and he might be able to find some clues if he was careful. He didn't intend to find out who cast the skill at all. As the lord of a city, Ji Leon only needs to confirm that it is a man-made fluctuation, and he can report it directly when the time comes. If it is really that kind of top powerhouse, just leave it to the superiors to have a headache. Hey, hey hey, hey hey hey. In the piranha forest that has become ruins, only Chen Zan's laughter can be heard resounding continuously. Combined with the surrounding scenes, there is a creepy feeling. If someone stood in front of Chen Zan and asked him why he laughed so much, Chen Zan would definitely answer, I didn't want to laugh, but it exploded too much. Leaving aside the materials and so on, several pieces of equipment exploded alone. Corrosion earrings, black iron. Category, accessories. Basic effect, life plus 10, magic power plus 20. Durability, 2020. Level requirement, LV10. Additional effect, corrosion attack target armor minus 1. Note, 10 points of agility can provide an additional armor. Comma, simple straw hat, black iron. Category, accessories. Basic effect, agility plus 2. Durability, 2020. Level requirement, LV10. Additional effect, none. Comma, wooden staff, black iron. Comma, piranha inner armor, black iron. Comma, for these equipments, Chen Zan only had a magic staff and a pair of earrings, but he felt that the increase was too low and the quality was too poor, so he put them away. Among the remaining gains, the most precious are the three skill books. Sharp Thrust, a special skill for melee fighters. After using it, you can slash forward fiercely. There is a 15% chance of a fatal blow. The damage range is 150% of the basic attack. Elementary block, exclusive skills for melee fighters, passive skills, permanently block physical attacks by 100 points. Double water bomb, a common skill for mages, after releasing it, it can continuously create two water bombs to attack the target. Skill books are scarce resources in the entire blue star, because normal job changers who want to acquire skills can only achieve it through job change. Therefore, learning additional skill books has become an important way to increase skills. Among these three books, Chen Zan, as a beast master, can be regarded as a branch of the mage profession, and he can learn the skill of early in water bouncing. However, he is also limited to some mage-like general skills, and he cannot learn many high-rank mage-specific skills. But it doesn't matter, Chen Zan has already fed back a forbidden spell from Xiaoyan, and he doesn't lack skills. The only problem is that his current mana can't release the forbidden spell. Even Xiaoyan looked a little sluggish after the release, because the magic power value was emptied, and he was sleeping on his shoulder at the moment. At this time, another problem with the forbidden spell also appeared, that is CD, that is, the cooling time. Chen Zan found that under the blessing of God, his cooldown time was shortened by 10 times. If Xiaoyan wants to release it next time, it will take at least 10 hours. In other words, the cooling time of a simple forbidden spell is as high as 100 hours. The cooling time of more than 4 days has completely refreshed Chen Zan's understanding of forbidden spells. But at the same time, 
Chen Zan also had a clearer understanding of the power of the forbidden spell. After a short summary, Chen Zan put away all the equipment and skill books and prepared to leave here. He is going to go to the job transfer temple to accept the job transfer task first and then find a way to sell the things he got to the business store and Xiaoyan needs to buy the things he likes to upgrade. This time, it did a great job and Chen Zan was really ready to reward the other party. Of course, more importantly, Chen Zan is also planning to pick a new beast egg or cub to make a contract with. The god's contract provided him with an extra quota of contracted beasts. Gathering up his mind, Chen Zan was about to leave the piranha jungle that had turned into ruins, but he had just walked a few steps when suddenly there was a cold shout behind him. Stop! The sudden sound made Chen Zan's heart startled, and he suddenly stopped himself. Too bad, was it discovered so soon. As a time traveler, Chen Zan deeply understands what is meant by intrigue and what is called the weak or prey to the strong. In his previous life, he was tricked into a mess because he was too flamboyant and finally died of an accident. Now that he came to this world, Chen Zan understood that if he had a mythical quality contracted beast that could release forbidden spells, it would be known. Almost 99% of them will be killed and seized by animals. As long as you kill yourself as the master, and then find a way to sign a contract with the contracted beast, you can naturally obtain a contracted beast of mythical quality. So, when this voice appeared, an idea appeared in Chen Zan's mind. Do you want to act first and kill him first? As long as all the insiders are killed, won't no one know about it? Although Xiaoyan can't cast the forbidden spell now, it is still no problem to lose several 7th level skills in a row. In the silence, Chen Zan raised his palm, and was about to touch Xiaoyan's head, trying to wake it up. But at this moment, the voice behind him sounded again. Hey, that boy, what about you? The sound of extremely fast footsteps came, don't you know how dangerous this place is? You don't want to die, just wander around here. Gah, Chen Zan's originally raised hand was abruptly put back. Didn't they come to kill and seize beasts? He turned his head, and saw a tall, majestic figure with sparse beard riding a group of flaming steeds rushing towards him. It was the city lord Ji Leon. Ha, huh, who are you? Chen Zan frowned and looked at the other party, where I go is my right, what does it have to do with you? Quote dot 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 quote. It was the first time Ji Leon saw a child who dared to talk to him like that, his face darkened and he said, I am Ji Leon, the city lord, did you see what happened here just now? What happened? A pensive look appeared in Chen Zan's eyes, and then he raised his head uncertainly. You mean, just now there were so many big flaming birds in the sky? Big flame bird. Ji Lianhe's expression froze when he heard this, secretly thinking that it must be a vision caused by someone releasing skills here, and said hastily. That's right, tell me carefully, what's going on? Chen Zan half-truthfully described the appearance of Wang Wang Nirvana. Ji Lian was calm on the surface, but a turbulency was set off in his heart. He has never even heard of the skill that can condense many phenomenal bursts at once, let alone seen it. From this point, it is more confirmed that it is not the riot of alien beasts, but the result of giants haunting and releasing skills. That scene is so terrifying, how dare you come here? After sighing, Ji Leon looked at Chen Zan with a little blame in his tone. Of course I'm afraid. Chen Zan changed the topic, raised his head slightly, but if you want to become stronger, it's useless. Knowing that there are tigers in the mountains, I prefer to go to the mountains. If I come at this time, maybe I can gain more. Quote. It's a good one who knows that there are tigers in the mountains and prefers to go to the mountains, haha. Ji Leon gave Chen Zan a thumbs up. You have such courage, you will definitely not be too bad in the future. By the way, didn't you just change jobs? What career did you change? Chen Zan pointed to Xiaoyan who was sleeping soundly on his shoulder and said frankly. Beast Master, Beast Master. Originally, Ji Leon was a little puzzled by Chen Zan's words, but he was relieved when he heard that his occupation was actually a money-burning beast master. If it wasn't for the extreme lack of money, how could this kid risk such a huge risk to come here to find opportunities? Taking a deep breath, he suddenly jumped off the horse and patted Chen Zan's shoulder with his big hand. It doesn't matter, isn't it just to spend more money? Don't worry, kid, if you have nowhere to go in the future, you can come to the city lord's mansion and I will give you an errand. 
Ji Lianhe's words moved Chen Zan's heart, and his impression of the city lord changed slightly. There are not many city lords who can make a guarantee on the premise that they know that they are beast masters. So he also smiled cupped fist, nodded and said, Okay, then I will remember the promise of the city lord. Ha ha ha, okay, my city lord always keeps his word. Ji Lian laughed and looked around. The danger in this place has not been completely eliminated, you should leave here quickly. As he said that, he got on his horse and seemed to think of something. By the way, where are you going? I can give you a ride back to the city. Eh, hey, really, that would be great. Chen Zan naturally wished for the ability to rush back without spending any money. Come on, Chen Zan got on his horse, and then he saw the flaming steed rolling and galloping on the ground, its speed was almost faster than a sports car. However, there seemed to be a warm flame rising from the horse's body, blocking all the wind resistance around it, without feeling any discomfort at all. This made Chen Zan envious. If he could have such a mount, his journey would be much easier. But when he looked at the unconscious Xiaoyan sleeping on his shoulder, he felt that the realization of this goal seemed to be a long way to go. By the way, I don't know your name yet. While driving, Ji Lian also asked in front. My name is Chen Zan, from No3 Middle School. Chen Zan didn't hide anything, and said directly. Oh, yes, yes, a hero is a teenager, and you do have the potential to become a hero. Ji Lian praised. My lord, the city owner, is too much, and I'm just forced by life. Chen Zan rolled his eyes as he spoke, and said insinuatingly. My lord, who shot that jungle just now? Do you know? It's not clear yet, Ji Lian said casually but judging from the remaining elemental fluctuations, it is at least a trace of the skills released by professionals above rank 8. It's too scary, I really don't know which boss is passing by in our frost city, if possible, I really want to meet up. Quote. Neat, what's so difficult about that? Why don't you just find someone? Chen Zan was puzzled, looking for someone. HMPH, boy, you underestimate such top bosses, don't you? Ji Lian twitched his lips, that terrifying skill fluctuation has already completely wiped away all traces. Unless there are also top-level professionals, and there are big bosses with probing or deduction skills, it will be difficult to find the other party. Besides, even if I find it, at my level, I'm not even worthy of carrying shoes for others, let alone meeting them. Quote. Upon hearing this, Chen Zan subconsciously looked at own shoes. Are my shoes so expensive now? But Ji Lian didn't notice this, suddenly he reminded with a straight face. You are a child, don't be too curious, don't you know that curiosity killed the cat? Oh, thank you, Lord City Lord, for reminding me. Chen Zan nodded seriously, but looking at the fascination in Ji Lianhe's eyes, he couldn't help wondering, what would the other party think if he knew that he was the big boss? Naturally, he wouldn't be so stupid as to take the initiative to tell the other party the truth, and even if he really said it, the other party would only think he was crazy. Unless he casts the forbidden spell again, but now he can't cast it. The reason why Chen Zan asked so many questions was to test whether the other party would know his identity. The risk is temporarily controllable, but the possibility of high professional transfers cannot be ruled out. A few minutes later, Chen Zan bid farewell to Ji Lian, boarded a bus alone, and the destination was the job transfer temple. Soon, the career transfer temple arrived. Looking at the row of classical buildings in front of him, Chen Zan also showed curiosity in his eyes. The job-changing temple is a building that appears spontaneously during the game invasion, not man-made. In addition to job transfer, the functions included in the temple include other functions such as guild registration, regional rewards, material exchange and so on. Chen Zan looked at it for a while, then walked towards one of the most majestic buildings. This is a special place for professionals to change jobs, and it is also the core functional area of the job change temple. Crunch, pushing open the door of the palace, the pure white marble decoration made Chen Zan's eyes shine, and a solemn and heavy atmosphere came over his face. The hall is small, facing a wide white stone table directly in front, in such a solemn place of sacred. Behind the stone platform, a beautiful woman dressed in a nun's style is, sleeping. Um, the corner of Chen Zan's mouth twitched slightly, why did he feel that the painting style suddenly became weird? Shouldn't the job-changing temple be very sacred? 
Is there still someone sleeping here? Hearing the sound, the young lady lying on the table also opened her eyes in a daze. Frost Frost City is just a remote town with not many professionals. As a full-time staff member in charge of changing jobs, she hardly encountered a professional who came to change jobs for a few days. She even only works here for half a day and then goes home directly, sometimes even earlier. If it wasn't too late last night to have a party with a few little sisters, she might have left long ago. Anyway, no one came at this time. But now someone actually came to change jobs, and even disturbed her slumber, which immediately made her feel dissatisfied. Really, I can't even sleep well, who is so, hee hee, little big brother, are you going to change jobs? She had just finished half of her complaints, but when she saw Chen Zan's appearance, she immediately woke up. An incomparably charming smile instantly appeared on his face, and he quickly walked out from behind the counter and approached Chen Zan. Wow, this little big brother is too handsome, right? And the breath on his body is really intoxicating. It's a hundred times stronger than those greasy smelly men, if something can happen to him. Hey, hello, I want to change jobs. Chen Zan raised his hand doubtfully and waved in front of this handsome big sister. Is it because the aura of the temple is too strong, making people a little mentally disturbed after staying for a long time? Why does it look like this big sister is a bit of an idiot? Ah, all right, the big sister exclaimed with her legs between her legs, and said quickly, do you want to take a turn? We charge 100 gold coins for a turn, you have to. The big sister originally thought that Chen Zan's age was a student who changed jobs at his own expense because he missed the school transfer, but Chen Zan interrupted him just after a few introductions. Ahem, I'm a second turn. Chen Zan corrected. Oh, turn two. Big sister's heart skipped a beat. Isn't today the day when all middle schools in Frostwind City just change jobs? How long has it been? This little big brother is coming for the second turn. The woman's keen intuition told her that the handsome little big brother in front of her might be the second generation of those legendary microservice private visits, and that's why she was able to complete the second transfer in less than a day. Thinking of this, her eyes almost burst into flames, and her whole body leaned towards Chen Zan, almost clinging to Chen Zan's arms. The second transfer fee is 10,000 gold coins, little big brother, you also know that different job transfer fees are different, you can see that it is clearly written on the notice board over there. Chen Zan glanced at the sweaty arm that was pressed, and moved his footsteps, preventing the big sister from continuing to approach. Reach out and take out a card and hand it to the other person. Swipe your card. After the tragic death of the Chen family that night, although Chen Zan became an orphan, Fortunately, the funds in the Chen family's account are still there. 10,000 gold coins is not too much to him. Seeing that the coquettish efforts were fruitless, the big sister also reached out to take the card resentfully, and went back to the counter to start operating. All right little big brother. She handed the card to Chen Zan with both hands, and pointed to a closed door next to her. That's the job transfer hall, little big brother, just follow the instructions after you go in and operate. Thanks. Chen Zan nodded slightly, took the card and walked towards the gate, without looking at the big sister from the beginning to the end. Boom, the simple and heavy door opened and closed again, watching Chen Zan's disappearing figure. The big sister couldn't help but let out a sigh of regret, regretting that she missed the opportunity to get in touch with a second-generation transfer. Just at this moment, a communication message popped up from the address book panel. Lick no. 1. Bao. What do you want to eat tonight? I'm ready to send it to you, excited. The big sister glanced at it, and replied without hesitation. Queen, hey, I miss you eating shit. Lick no. One, three desperate, well, I'll try my best. Comma, click. The door closed, and Chen Zan found himself in a circular room with only a few square meters of Fang Yuan. Surrounded by pure white walls, mysterious runes of various colors are branded on them. You don't need to deliberately sense it, you can find the magical elements that are almost overflowing. Almost all the magic elements gathered in a hexagram circle under his feet. Before Chen Zan could react, he heard a prompt without the slightest emotion in his mind. Detecting that a professional has entered the temple, please select the job transfer item. A row of words that read one turn, two turns until nine cycles emerged from the light curtain. Chen Zan raised his hand a little and directly chose the second turn. 
Job transferer Chen Zan, current level LV30, meets job transfer requirements, can issue job transfer tasks, please select job transfer difficulty. Chen Zan was taken aback by the sound of the reminder, and couldn't help but feel puzzled. Is there a level of difficulty in job transfer tasks? With a swish, the light curtain in front of him changed again, and a series of six difficulties emerged. Simple difficulty, basic rewards. Medium difficulty, basic reward plus 10%. Difficult difficulty, basic reward plus 20%. Crazy, basic reward plus 50%. Desperate, base bonus plus 80%. It was not done by humans, basic reward plus 100%. Chen Zan always felt that this job transfer task reminded him of a certain hit game in his previous life and the fear of being dominated. The panel information is simple and clear, the higher the difficulty, the higher the reward. The highest reward can even reap attribute bonuses that are twice as high as the base reward. Of course, it can be seen from the difficulty name that if you really choose the last one, its difficulty coefficient will definitely exceed imagination. Which one should I choose? Chen Zan looked at the six levels of difficulty and couldn't help but fall into deep thought. But before he could think about it, a countdown prompt popped up on the panel. He felt that this job-changing temple was full of malice towards him, a newcomer. Okay, it's you. Finally, when the countdown was about to end, Chen Zan reached out and touched one of them. You have chosen a difficulty that is impossible for humans to complete, are you sure? I feel like you're scolding me, but I can't find proof. Chen Zan complained silently, and clicked directly on yes. Then a series of notification sounds emerged. Hint, you have successfully accepted the second rank mission, not a difficulty that humans can complete. Task name, the plague of tarantulas. Mission description. The grassy valley was once a paradise for many professionals looking for treasures. Since the loud noise came from the cave underground in the valley, the hot magma brought not only blazing heat, but also groups of lava tarantulas. There are so many of them, they hunt all living things, and turn the beautiful valley into a forbidden place for professionals. Now, it's time to get rid of them. Task target. Destroy the lava tarantula group and bring back the poison sack of the leader lava spider mother. Task time limit. 24 hours. Task requirements. Completed independently by a single person, not in a team. Reminder, the mission countdown begins. Is this the beginning? Chen Zan stared at the task panel in a daze. He had learned about the location of the lava tarantula group in the textbook. Just outside the novice leveling area is a place called Tarantula Valley. It wasn't this place that made him stupefied, but Tarantula Valley, which is a leveling area for LV40 LV60 professionals. Second rank professionals, and even second turn professionals who are ready to turn three can only go to the place. Now it has become the location of Chen Zan's second mission. What's even more outrageous is that the alien beast called the Lava Tarantula inside is not only huge in size and numerous in number, it even soaks in underground magma rivers all day long, and its flame resistance is simply ridiculous. Let alone a single person, even several teams may not be able to wipe out all the groups in the Tarantula Valley in one day. It's not a difficulty that humans can complete, it's really extraordinary. Chen Zan said to himself with some emotion, but he wasn't too worried. He has the help of the Scarlet Flame Fire Phoenix. At that time, as long as he casts the Forbidden Curse, let alone the Lava Tarantula's extremely high flame resistance, even if it is made of flames, it will be completely wiped out. Having figured this out, Chen Zan withdrew his gaze, turned around, opened the temple gate and walked out. Click. As soon as the door rang, the big sister who was guarding behind the counter suddenly raised his head saw Chen Zan appearing, and immediately greeted him with a smile on his face. Little Big Brother has already accepted the task. Nini wishes you success in advance, and successfully completed the task. Well, thank you. Chen Zan nodded slightly, then walked towards the gate. Seeing this, Nini didn't show any anger on her face. Instead, she added with a smile, if you need materials for the job transfer task, the little big brother can go to the business store to buy them, which saves you the trouble of spawning monsters in the wild. She has been in charge of this place for a long time, and almost most of the job changers she met chose the less difficult job changing tasks to complete. Over time, she also mastered some door knocking, or task bugs. Although Chen Zan didn't seem to have the slightest interest in her, 
but she felt that the other party's identity was unusual and he had outstanding looks, so she kindly reminded her. Unexpectedly, as soon as these words came out, Chen Zan suddenly stopped and turned to look at her. Do you know anything about the business here? Nini was taken aback when she heard this, then nodded with a bigger smile on her face. Yes, Shuangying City is not a big place. In fact, there are four commercial firms in total. Among them, Wu's commercial firm is a local firm. The price is relatively high, but they can be negotiated. Nini is like every treasure. Duin, Damao, and Choyadao are not small businesses. Among them, Damao has the oldest qualifications. Duin mainly carries goods online. Choyadao is a scam and I don't recommend it for reference. If the little big brother needs it, I can take you there directly. Quote, she doesn't have a chance to change jobs, but it doesn't mean she won't listen to others. Besides, among the professionals who came to change jobs before, 8 out of 10 were so fascinated by her figure that they naturally said anything. Thank you, I know the way. Chen Zan was just asking casually, but he didn't expect that the other party really gave out a lot of useful information. After thanking him, Chen Zan turned around and left the job transfer temple. Seeing Chen Zan leave, Nini showed a look of disappointment on her face. She wanted to take the opportunity to get to know the other party more, and it would be even better if she could add a friend in the end. It's a pity that the other party didn't give her a chance at all. But it doesn't matter, she just said a few words to the little big brother. And the other party also thanked her, and the relationship between the two has gone a step further. If we can see you next time. Well, thinking of the next meeting, Nini's legs trembled excitedly. At this moment, a chat message popped up in the address book again. Lick no. 1. 3 vomiting. Bow, I drank 3 buckets of water and finally swallowed it. Queen. Even that. Pervert. You, get out. Lick no. 1. 3 grievances. Didn't you let me eat it? The queen has turned on friend verification, and you are not his, her, friend yet. Please send a friend verification request first, and the other party can only chat after the verification is passed. Lick no. 1. Why? What did I do wrong? Wu. Comma. In the heart of the bustling city center of Frost Frost City, Chen Zan's figure was standing in front of a magnificently decorated building. Round Cat Firm. After Chen Zan synthesized the news given by the big sister and the news he had learned on the internet before, he finally decided to choose the local cat company for transactions. After all, the Mao firm is the oldest firm in Great Shaw, not one of them. A time-honored brand should be trustworthy. Seeing Chen Zan approaching, the door automatically opened to both sides, and two well-dressed slim beauties inside smiled politely at Chen Zan. Welcome to Damao Trading Company, what help do you need? I want to sell materials, and I want to buy something. Chen Zan nodded slightly, expressing his own thoughts. Okay, sir, please follow me, we have an exclusive trader who will serve you. Under the guidance of a lady in Changsam, Chen Zan stepped into the lobby of the firm, and suddenly found that it was much more lively than expected. There are many people in front of the counters, big and small, asking questions, some of them are older, some of them are younger. There are also parents who come with their children. So many people, Chen Zan asked subconsciously. The Changsam girl next to her explained with a smile. Yes, sir, because there are quite a few candidates who have changed jobs recently, and many parents want to provide more help for their children before the college entrance examination. Her keen professional sense let her see that Chen Zan seemed to be here for the first time, so she explained thoughtfully. There are medicines for sale over there, and there are people who can restore blue and blood. The less crowded one is the equipment sales counter, and the other side is the counter for other miscellaneous items. Chen Zan suddenly nodded. Now, in order to increase the efficiency of spawning monsters in the wild, many professionals will equip a large number of blue blood recovery potions for replenishment. The better the supply, the higher the efficiency, so you may be able to increase your first level before the college entrance examination. Even if there is only first level, it is possible to stand out among hundreds of millions of candidates and be selected by the high-ranked guild. Then my transaction is also carried out here. Looking at the noisy hall, Chen Zan couldn't help frowning. There are a lot of things on him, and he doesn't want to trade here so ostentatiously. He still understands the reason why money is not revealed. No, sir. 
This place is only responsible for sales, not acquisitions. There is a separate trading room on the second floor for acquisitions, which can guarantee enough privacy. The lady in the Chongsam spoke and stretched out her hand to indicate the stairs not far away. Seeing this, Chen Zan was about to follow, but at this moment, a familiar voice suddenly sounded behind him. Chen Zan, why are you here? Chen Zan turned his head, just in time to see an ordinary-looking, tall and strong boy striding towards him. There was even surprise on Chen Zan's face. Zhuang Ping, you've come to the firm too. Zhuang Ping is his classmate in No. 3 Middle School, and his relationship with Chen Zan is not very good, but it is not too bad. Yeah, isn't this for going to the novice area to kill monsters? I dragged my dad to help me buy some medicine. Zhuang Ping smiled and said, How is it? Have you found your first contract beast? As a beast master, Chen Zan has an exclusive contract space that can accommodate contract beasts. Moreover, Chen Zan found that Xiao Yan slept in it, and the mana recovery speed was much faster than outside. So he took it back just now. Yeah, found it. Chen Zan nodded without denying it. Great, when are we going to level up? Let's form a team together. Zhuang Pinghen said with a smile, I'm a warrior now. If you kill monsters fiercely, don't let them go. I promise to take you flying. Thank you, I, Xiaoping, who is this? Why don't you introduce it to dad? The words Chen Zan just uttered were directly interrupted by a greasy man in a suit with slightly barren hair. Dad, this is what I often mention to you, Chen Zan, the top student in our class. Zhuang Ping's father was taken aback when he heard this, and nodded to Chen Zan with the same smile on his face. Hello, hello, Xiao Ping, have you chosen the potion we are looking at? Come on, come with me to pick it out, so I can pay for it. Without waiting for Chen Zan to respond, he pulled Zhuang Ping into the distance. Hey, Dad, why are you dragging me? I haven't finished talking to Chen Zan yet. Tell me what, he's a beast master, don't you know? I know, what's the matter, I still want to pull him to form a team together. Is your head made of elm? Do you think he is the former young master of the Chen family? The beast master of the poor boy has no future at all. If I hadn't appeared in time, would you really be stupid enough to take him into a team? Quote. What's wrong with forming a team? Dad, I'm a fighter, so I can guide him to level up. Shut up, just say one more thing. Don't even think about buying a bottle of medicine today. Daddy has worked in a foreign company for so long, why do you have such a stupid son? Remember for me, only valuable people can hand it over these days. A poor boy like him who even relies on free contract beasts, do you know how far you can hide from me? Quote. Zhuang Ping's voice was not high, but it was a pity that Chen Zan's hearing was exceptionally good, and he could hear almost everything he said. But he also cared too much, after all, this kind of person who didn't have much contact with each other wouldn't have the slightest influence on him. Led by the Chongsam lady, Chen Zan came to a private room on the second floor. After the young lady left, she saw a middle-aged man in a suit push the door in. Seeing that Chen Zan was so young, he was slightly surprised, but then he bowed slightly and nodded. Hi sir, I'm a certified trader of Damao Trading Company, here is my certificate. Chen Zan glanced at it, then looked away. Seeing this, the male trader took the initiative and said, May I ask what item you want to sell, can you show it to me? Good, Chen Zan didn't hesitate, and directly raised his hand to open the own game space. Immediately, a large pile of countless materials emerged from it one after another, instantly forming a pile of hills on the ground of the private room. Originally, the male trader thought that Chen Zan was only selling a few materials, but when so many materials appeared, he couldn't help but shrink his pupils slightly, showing a look of surprise. Which young master is this? Actually took so many materials at once. He never thought that it was done by Chen Zan alone, because it was impossible. Only when the other party is the stock accumulated by the family. The quality of the material is not high, please check it out and estimate the price. Chen Zan sat there and said calmly, Okay, I'll count now, please sit down, sir. With a thought, the male trader took out a pair of gloves from the game space, put them on, and began to count them in the room. Before even Chen Zan asked for a pot of tea and snacks for him to enjoy slowly. About ten minutes later, 
The male trader finished counting and came to Chen Zhan with a smile on his face. Sir, I have already counted. You have a total of 13,927 materials, including 6,089 piranha materials, 3,132 scarecrow materials, and the rest are miscellaneous materials. According to the purchase price on the market, it should total around 140,000 gold coins, but you have a huge amount, I can give you a 1% premium, 150,000 gold coins, what do you think? Quote, 150,000 gold coins. Chen Zan eyes revealed the color of contemplation, the entire blue star common currency is mainly gold, silver and copper coins, one gold coin is equivalent to 100 silver coins, 10,000 copper coins. This is not self-publishing, but the result of self-production in the game. If you want to find a value to measure, one gold coin is actually equivalent to 100 coins in Chen Zan's previous life. And 150,000 gold coins are equivalent to 15 million in the previous life. Let me go, are these basic materials so much money all of a sudden? Chen Zan suddenly felt like getting rich overnight. In fact, how did he know that ordinary professionals have the terrifying ability to clear three surrounding maps at once? Even if there is, it is impossible for one person to complete it, but a team, or even several teams, it takes a lot of time to have such a harvest. Can, Chen Zan nodded, and was satisfied with the price of the ground cat company, because he had also checked the relevant price before, and estimated the value of this batch of materials at around 130,000 gold coins. And the price given by the other party was even higher. This gave him a certain degree of recognition for the reputation of the cat company. Okay, you are here later, I will apply for funds and complete the transaction. Traders go fast and come back fast. Okay, sir, 150,000 gold coins have been credited to your card. The trader returned the card to Chen Zan with both hands. You can confirm it first, and I will take this batch of materials away later. Chen Zan was very satisfied with this detail. After he confirmed it, the manager waved all the materials into the space. Sir, the transaction has been completed. If you have no other needs, I can accompany you downstairs to have a look. Just now the waiter explained that you still have purchase needs. The trader had laughed. Not in a hurry. Chen Zan sat on his seat and didn't intend to move. Our business has just begun. After saying a word, he raised his hand and threw all the items he had kept on the ground. Hiss. Several pieces of equipment appeared one after another, making the trader's pupils shrink, but when he saw the light of the skill book flashing in the equipment, he was completely uneasy. The trader suddenly gasped, completely shocked by the scene in front of him. Skill book. It's actually a skill book. When was the last time you saw a skill book for sale in a place like Frostwind City? Three years, five years, or ten years ago. Not to mention anything else, if he can receive even one skill book, it will be more than enough for this month's performance to reach the acquisition champion. But now, there are actually three books. Three skill books at once. Hiss. Now even the way he looks at Chen Zan has completely changed. This boy is definitely a young master from a big family who came here to play in the world. Chen Zan was also lost in thought while looking at his three skill books. He wasn't meditating on anything else, it was the Erlian Water Bouncing Book that he originally wanted to learn by himself. But in a flash of his thought just now, it seems that this kind of low-level skill is not necessary for him. Xiaoyan relies on Xiaoyan to spawn monsters, and his first level skill is a seventh level skill, and his first level 2 link water bombing technique doesn't seem to have much effect except for bathing wild monsters. It's better to exchange money directly. After a moment of silence, the trader thought that Chen Zan was dissatisfied because of his gaffe, so he quickly bowed and apologized. I'm sorry sir, the amount involved in your transaction is too large, I can't make the decision, I will ask the supervisor to come out. After speaking, he saluted again, turned around and left the room quickly. Did you alert the supervisor? Chen Zan also came back to his senses, a look of surprise flashed in his eyes. But he quickly guessed that it should be related to the three skill books, otherwise the black iron equipment would not make the trader so groggy. Crunch. Not long after, the closed door of the private room opened again, and this time it was not a trader who walked in, but a tall, graceful Oni-san beauty. A white shirt, a black hip wrapping skirt, and a pair of straight and slender thighs underneath were wrapped in black stockings. 
The incomparably exquisite oval face is paired with a well-cut black wavy short hair, which makes the whole Onisan temperament a little more capable. With a faint smile on the corner of Onisan's mouth, he bowed slightly when he saw Chen Zhang. A melodious voice followed, Hi sir, I am Lu Xiaoya, the supervisor here. Chen Zhang stared at the executive, glanced at her incomparably plump figure for a moment, and then said, Hello Director Lu. Chen Zhang pointed to the equipment and skill books not far away, I need Director Lu to estimate the price of these things. Okay, Lu Xiaoya nodded lightly, put on the gloves skillfully, turned around and began to examine carefully. I saw him raise his hand a little, and a ray of light flowed out from between his fingers and landed on a piece of equipment. The next moment, all the information about the equipment emerged. Chen Zhang's eyes flashed, and he guessed that it was a skill similar to identification. A supervisor like Lu Xiaoya who could be in charge of a commercial bank in a city must be a professional. Maybe they are professionals who specialize in appraisal. Lu Xiaoya's efficiency was very fast, and it didn't take long to identify the information of all the equipment. She exhaled lightly, and seemed to be able to see the scented hot air gushing out of her mouth and nose. A total of eight pieces of black iron equipment, including five for melee occupations, one for ranged mages, and two for enchanters. She turned her head and smiled at Chen Zhan, explaining. According to the market price, the unit price of five pieces of melee professional equipment is 50,000 gold coins, 40,000 pieces of enchanter equipment, and 60,000 pieces of mage equipment, totaling 350,000 gold coins. After a pause, she looked at the three glowing skill books. These three skill books are all first-level skill books. Among them, the price of the two warrior books is slightly lower, 100,000 gold coins each, while the mage skill books are higher, about 150,000 gold coins each. She did the math, including the previous 350,000, it's exactly 700,000 gold coins. In order to thank you for your support to our firm, I can give you an additional 20% premium, and I can also give you a Baijin membership card with the highest supervisory authority. You are satisfied. Um, Chen Zan didn't reply after hearing the words, but took a few more glances at the Oni-san supervisor. Needless to say, he knew without guessing that a supervisor couldn't afford to give himself a 20% premium directly. This is worth 140,000 gold coins. The materials for the three maps he sold before were only 150,000 gold coins. What is she planning to do for herself so much? Could it be that he is greedy for his own appearance? This Oni-san has a very good appearance and a very good figure, but this age is a little bit older, I guess he is at least 20 years old. If this is agreed, Chen Zan will always feel weird. No, he suddenly thought of something. Could it be that she gave me the 20% to support me? Make me a badass. Unknowingly, Chen Zan frowned slightly. Seeing Chen Zan frowning, Liu Xiaoya's heart skipped a beat. Are you still not satisfied with this offer? Originally, she saw that Chen Zan was able to sell so many valuable items for sale at such a young age, so she wanted to make some friends. Unexpectedly, the other party seemed to be dissatisfied because of this. Wrong, Liu Xiaoya was startled. The other party's age and bearing were definitely not comparable to ordinary backgrounds. This kind of advantage, which seemed quite generous to her, might not even count as small change in the other party's eyes. In this way, not only did I not leave any good impression, but I also offended the other party. Thinking of this, Lu Xiaoya hurriedly bowed a little flustered. Sir, please don't get me wrong, Xiaoya just admires Mr. for being able to achieve so much at such an age, and her future achievements are bound to be limitless. Therefore, I made the decision without authorization and increased the maximum discount of 10% to 20%. I know this is not much, so please don't be angry and accept it with a smile. Quote. She finished speaking in one breath, and lowered her head to her chest, quietly waiting for Chen Zan's response. After a while, Chen Zan, who was sitting in his seat, said calmly. Hey, let's not be an example. Very good. Liu Xiaoya breathed a sigh of relief when she got the answer, and when she looked up again, a smile appeared on her face again, but this time it was more than ten times brighter than when she first entered the door. Okay. Please sit down for a moment, I'll go and apply for a Baijin card for you. Comma, Mr. Chen, this is your Baijin card, please keep it safe. 
Liu Xiaoya handed the Baijin card to Chen Zong with both hands, and continued, All the gold coins traded are stored on this card, and you can transfer them to your own account at any time. Chen Zong took the card and nodded slightly, very satisfied with Director Oni-san's handling ability. The other party was not only efficient enough, but even asked only his name for the card application information, and did not ask for any other information. This greatly guarantees the privacy of customer information. Chen Zan felt that he did not make a wrong choice in this trip to the cat company. Good. Chen Zan glanced at the card and put it away. I still need to purchase some items. What are you purchasing? I can have a sample taken right now. Director Oni San smiled. This. Chen Zan thought for a while. Is there anything suitable for fire type birds and beasts to eat? Chapter 11. For Xiaoyan, Chen Zan has always been very grateful. Leaving aside that it is an own contracted beast, without it, it would be impossible for him to reach the second rank in such a short period of time. One of the most important purposes of coming to the firm this time is to choose the favorite food for the little one. Delicious and upgradable, this is the biggest purpose of Chen Zan. The growth of contracted beasts is different from that of wild monsters. The experience points gained by spawning monsters alone are only a drop in the bucket. If you want to promote the rapid growth of contracted beasts, you need to cooperate with many valuable potions to promote development. Otherwise, with Xiaoyan's growth rate, I am afraid that even if he reaches level 100, he will still be in a state of infancy. Suitable for fire-type birds and beasts. Liu Xiaoya was stunned for a moment. She was shrewd and didn't ask any more questions, but directly introduced, yes, there are more than 10 kinds of the fastest-selling exotic animal medicines in the country. We don't have all of them here, but there are eight kinds. Do you want to buy them all? Show it to you. Okay, then please trouble Director Liu. Chen Zan nodded, feeling that Xiaoyan had to choose this item himself. Heck, if Mr. Chen doesn't dislike it, just call me Xiaoya. Liu Xiaoya nodded and said with a smile. Xiaoya is not very well. Chen Zan thought for a while, I think Director Liu is older than me, so let's call you Sister Ya. That's great, it's an honor to know a little brother like Mr. Chen. The smile on Liu Xiaoya's face became even brighter, and she felt that being able to get to know Chen Zong was more cost-effective than the transaction amount this time. Seeing her leave, Chen Zong summoned Xiao Yan from the contract space with a thought. As soon as the little guy appeared, he opened his big, agile eyes and looked around. When he saw Chen Zong, he flapped his wings and landed on his shoulder, rubbing his little head affectionately against his cheek. Okay, Xiaoyan, there will be several delicious dishes brought over later, let's see which one you like the most, okay. Hawk, as soon as he heard that there was something delicious, the little guy immediately became energetic, even fluttering with his wings. Since it was born, it has not eaten for several hours, and it has long been hungry. Soon, Lu Xiaoya came back again. When she saw Xiaoyan on Chen Zan's shoulder, her eyes didn't change at all. Instead, she came directly to the table and waved her hand. Swish, a series of eight medicine bottles that looked like test tubes emerged. As soon as the eight potion bottles were released, a strong fire elemental breath suddenly emerged from the room. Chirp, the moment Xiaoyan saw the potion, Xiaoyan screamed excitedly. Without Chen Zan's guidance, he flapped his wings and flew towards the potion bottle. Chirp, it barked twice, then looked at Chen Zan again. Seeing this, Chen Zan smiled and shook his head, well, no, just pick your favorite one. Seeing this, Xiaoyan nodded, and landed in front of the bottle with the strongest fire element without hesitation. Seeing Xiaoyan's actions, Liu Xiaoya didn't say anything, but she was still a little surprised in her heart. What surprised her was that Chen Zan actually had a red fire bird as a pet. When will a product of the level of Kai Huo now actually fall into the eyes of the boss? But looking at the agile appearance of the little guy, Liu Xiaoya thought that Chen Zan took it as a pet because it was fun. From the beginning to the end, she never expected that this was Chen Zan's contracted beast. Sister Ya, what is this potion? Seeing that the little guy was selected, Chen Zan asked Liu Xiaoya. He he, I didn't expect that Mr. Chen, your pet is really knowledgeable. This bottle is Tianyan Spiritual Marrow. It is said that it is produced in a secret realm of Xingyao. It is the most precious of the eight bottles. Tianyan Spiritual Marrow. Chen Zan said in his heart that he had never heard of it at all, 
but the baby that can only appear in the Xingyao secret realm is definitely not too bad. How much is the price? A bottle of this kind costs 10,000 gold coins, but you are now a Baijin member and can enjoy a 20% discount. 8,000. This price is indeed not low, but Chen Zhang couldn't help but nodded when he thought that he now had a deposit of 1 million gold coins, and said casually. 10 bottles first. Okay, I'll let someone arrange it. Liu Xiaoya smiled and nodded, secretly surprised, is this the top rich man? 80,000 gold coins are fed to pets without even blinking an eye. This made her even more convinced that Chen Zhang was definitely a top hero from a big family. Don't worry. In addition to these, prepare some blue returning potions for me, and do you have alien beast eggs here? Or alien beast cubs? Yes, I have a list of all alien beast cubs and alien beast eggs here, you can browse directly, and I will send them to you directly after you select them. Liu Xiaoya suddenly smiled apologetically as she spoke, Mr. Chen, I need to go downstairs to pick up the inventory for Tianyan Spiritual Marrow. It will take a little longer, do you mind? Going downstairs, Chen Zan shook his head, then I'll go down too, so as not to waste time. He glanced at the countdown of his job transfer task, and felt that he had to hurry up. So, five minutes later, Chen Zan picked a strange beast egg that he thought was suitable and put it in the job transfer space, then got up and went downstairs with Lu Xiaoya. Mr. Chen, you are here later, I will come as soon as I go. Next to the pharmacy counter on the first floor, Lu Xiaoya bowed to Chen Zan and then walked away gracefully. The first floor was still full of people, the receptionists and customers were all very busy, leaving only Chen Zan looking around boredly. But at this moment, he saw a familiar figure with slightly bald head, which was Zhuang Ping's father. The other party was also alone now, and his eyes also saw Chen Zan's figure. To Chen Zan's surprise, he saw his father Zhuang Ping walking towards him on his own initiative. Standing in front of Chen Zan with a smile. You are Chen Zan, Zhuang Ping's classmate, right? What's wrong with uncle? Chen Zan didn't want to pay attention to it at first but his impression of Zhuang Ping was fair after all, so he just said indifferently. Aha, it's all right. You've been shopping here for a long time. Have you bought anything you like? Zhuang Ping's father made a ha-ha, and asked quite enthusiastically. Yeah, I bought some medicine. Chen Zan nodded and said casually. Ha-ha, are you talking about the blue potion? Zhuang Ping's father laughed. Let me tell you, there are several types of blue potions this time. You are still young so don't be fooled by those receptionists. Don't consider those below 100 gold coins. Return to blue potion. Don't wait, the amount of mana returned is still small. If you team up with my Zhuangping, he can put two skills in one bottle. And you don't have enough skills, do you think the gap is a bit big? Quote. It's really a bit big. Chen Zan pretended not to understand the meaning of Zhuangping's words, and nodded seriously. That's right. So what medicine to use must be combined with what medicine, so that it can be matched and the efficiency can be maximized, right? Chen Zan, you are here. Before Chen Zan could answer, a figure suddenly appeared not far away, it was Zhuang Ping. Zhuang Ping came quickly, seeing Chen Zan's silly smile, he wanted to say something, but found that his father was present, so he didn't speak, but looked at him again. Dad, are you two still chatting? Aha. We just chatted and didn't say a few words. Zhuang Ping's father laughed and urged him. Have you installed all the potions? Come on, aren't you still waiting to upgrade? Hey, dad, you go first, Chen Zan and I. Zhuang Ping waved his hand, and was about to refuse, when he suddenly saw a graceful figure appearing not far away, and immediately changed the topic. I'll go, who is this? So top, snapped. Zhuang Ping was slapped on the back of the head by his father who gritted his teeth and said in a low voice, keep your voice down, that's Lu Xiaoya, the director of the cat company, you can't offend me, you know. The head of the business. Why did she come to the first floor? Zhuang Ping held the back of his head in doubt. But as soon as he finished speaking, he saw Lu Xiaoya walking towards them all the way, stopped in front of Chen Zan, bowed, and waved his hand. A tray covered with red satin fell into the palm of his hand. Mr. Chen, all the potions you want are here. As she spoke, she gently lifted a corner of the red silk satin, revealing ten bottles of Tianyan spiritual marrow's medicine inside. 
This move was quick, but it happened that Zhuang Ping's father also saw the scene of the medicine inside from his perspective. Boom, Zhuang Ping's father only felt a roar in his mind, and he was stunned on the spot like a thunderbolt. What is that? If he's not mistaken, it seems to be a bottle of Tianyan spiritual marrow. Moreover, there were as many as ten bottles on the tray. Ten bottles are worth 100,000 gold coins, and his annual salary is not enough to add up to 100,000 gold coins. Impossible, how could he, a poor boy, afford such a precious potion all of a sudden? I must be wrong, but for ordinary potions, will the director of the geomorphic firm personally deliver them? While Zhuang Ping's father was struggling with his thoughts, Chen Zan had already included the medicine in his own job transfer space. Thank you, Sister Ya, then I will take my leave. As Chen Zan said, he turned around and was about to leave, but just as he took a step, Sister Ya thought of something behind him, and suddenly said. Etc. Sister Ya, is there anything else? Sister Ya chuckled, Mr. Chen forgot, you need a membership card to register for taking inventory. As she spoke, she handed over Chen Zan's card with both hands. When he saw the card, Zhuang Ping's father was struck by lightning. Bai, Baijin card, is it actually a Baijin card? He was not mistaken, he had seen it before when the boss of the head office came, it was the Baijin card of Demao Trading Company. At that time, Zhuang Ping's father was envious of him for a long time. You must know that such a card can only be processed by spending more than 500,000 gold coins at the local cat business. 500,000 gold coins. For a moment, Zhuang Ping's father only felt a slap on his cheek back and forth. What a slap in the face. He prevented Zhuang Ping and Chen Zan from forming a team before because he clearly determined that Chen Zan was a beast master with no background, a poor boy. But now it's better. Not only did they buy 10 bottles of Tianyan spiritual marrow, but even the land cat Baijin card came out. Even swollen face is not enough. Almost forgot. Chen Zan took the card and put it away, nodded to Lu Xiaoya, then turned and left. However, when he walked past Zhuang Ping's father, he paused slightly, looked at him and smiled lightly. Uncle, what you just said is right, Junior has been taught. After speaking, he nodded to Zhuang Ping and walked out of the firm. Dad, what did you tell Chen Zan just now? The naive Zhuang Ping watched Chen Zan leave, and couldn't help asking. Me, Zhuang Ping's father's face was flushed red, and suddenly he became anxious, rolled his eyes and passed out on the spot. At the moment before he lost consciousness, there were only two words left in his mind, regret. He was right. Different potions were indeed not suitable to be combined together, originally he thought his son was the advanced one. But now it seemed that the clown was actually himself. Chen Zan naturally didn't know Zhuang Ping's father's reaction, even if he knew, he didn't care. As the other party said, he is different from the other party, and there will be very few places where they can meet in the future. This is not Chen Zan's conceit but that he has not only passed the stage of the novice leveling area, but also directly went to the leveling area of the second turn professional and above. Looking at the area full of mud in front of him, Chen Zan couldn't help frowning slightly. The light curtain in front of him has already indicated the location here. Novice Quagmire, recommended level LV1 LV10. Looking at this muddy land with almost no limit, Chen Zan also felt a little helpless. The taxi only sent him here, even if he was willing to add money, the other party would not agree. The reason is that the terrain is difficult to walk. Once stuck here, it is not enough to lose money. In fact, the best way is to have flying or other mounts to pass through here. But looking at Xiao Yan who was shaking his head and looking cute on his shoulder, Chen Zan sighed rather speechlessly. You snack, when will you grow up enough to fly with me? On the way here, he had already fed 10 bottles of Tianyan spiritual marrow to Xiaoyan, but after drinking the 10 bottles, the little guy showed no sign of any change except for hiccuping. If we had to talk about changes, it might be that the feathers were a little redder than before, and the fire elemental aura on his body was also a little stronger. Chirp, seeing Chen Zan looking at it, it immediately barked twice excitedly. Work hard, you will have something to eat after you finish the work, don't think about it now. As soon as he heard that there was no food to eat, the little guy suddenly became sluggish, lay on Chen Zan's shoulder and began to pretend to be asleep. Call, Chen Zan let out a breath and began to comfort himself. 
Don't panic, I still have a little guy who hasn't been born yet. I hope that one can be more obedient and can be upgraded without spending too much money. The beast egg he chose, Chen Zan, has always been with him. Because of the job change task, he is going to wait until he is outside the Tarantula Valley. After calming down his thoughts, Chen Zan had no choice but to roll up his trouser legs and step into the novice quagmire area. Fortunately, he is now LV30, and his speed is much faster than before. It didn't take long to go deep into the novice quagmire map. But the deeper he went, Chen Zan discovered that so many people had gathered here to practice leveling. Almost every not far away, a figure splashed with mud and water could be seen struggling to attack the mob in front of him. Look at the sword, you little turtle, don't run away, and see if I don't hack you to death. Hey, monster, prepare to die. I will destroy you on behalf of the moon. All sorts of strange shouts emerged one after another, and you could even see many people teaming up with each other, pulling monsters to output, and fighting with great joy. Chen Zan didn't stay too long, but quickly passed through the crowd. The deeper you go, the fewer people there are. However, along the way, Chen Zan discovered that although there were a large number of these mobs hiding in the mud, it was not easy to kill them. Because they are too slippery, they will get into the mud and disappear when they are in danger. Even though the quagmire is not deep, it is still difficult to find and kill them in a short time. Ha! Huh, this breath, Chen Zan, who was walking forward, suddenly stopped and looked to one side. There was actually a frosty aura visible to the naked eye spreading towards the surroundings. Someone actually froze the swamp into ice, which greatly reduced the possibility of mobs escaping. This approach made Chen Zan couldn't help admiring the other party's intelligence. But when he saw the graceful figure who was waving a staff and performing skills like a frost elf, surprise flashed in his eyes. Why is she, Mu Shui, the daughter of the Mu family in Frost Wearing City, the number one schoolgirl in No. One middle school, happened to be next to the Mu family when the Chen Zan family was still alive. Mu Shui and Chen Zan have known each other since childhood, and they can be regarded as childhood sweethearts. It's just that Chen Zan faded out of the opponent's sight because of Chen Zan's crossing over and the subsequent disappearance of the Chen family's family. Mu Shui contacted Chen Zan many times, but he never replied. Unexpectedly, I met in the novice area today, and it seems that the other party has changed to a mage and has mastered ice skills. It's been a long time, and Chen Zan has no plans to get to know her. Now, for him, women will only affect the speed of his leveling up, and are useless other than that. So after just a glance, Chen Zan looked away, ready to move on. But just a few steps away, a tall figure in simple armor with a big sword in his hand appeared not far away with a vigilant expression, and scolded in a cold voice. Hey, this place has been requisitioned by our team. If you want to level up, go to another place. Requisition. What a big breath. Do you want to cast a forbidden spell and go down and teach him to be a man? This idea just flashed in Chen Zan's mind for a moment, and then he just nodded and changed direction. His situation is different now, so naturally he won't go to war with anyone just because of this matter. It's just that he wanted to avoid it, but someone bumped into him on his own initiative. Hey, let me see, isn't this the former young master of the Chen family, Chen Zan? The untimely voice came again just as Chen Zan was about to leave. A figure of a young man in armor, obviously much more luxurious than the previous warriors, came striding forward. Chen Zan didn't know this person, but he vaguely remembered that he might be from some family that had intersected with the Chen family before. Chen Zan didn't know Wu Ming, but Wu Ming knew Chen Zan. The Wu family is the leading professional family in the entire Frostwind city, and although Wu Ming is a concubine, he also has a certain status in the Wu family. Didn't he just get a set of armor as a reward after successfully changing his job as a fighter? He also didn't expect to meet the person he hates the most in his life here, Chen Zan. You must know that the Chen family before Chen Zan was just a small family, but the goddess Mu Shui, whom he admired so much, actually admired this brat. Wu Ming didn't lick the dog for a long time, but it didn't make Mu Shui's heart move. Instead, he stayed with Chen Zan all day long. Later, the Chen family changed, and Chen Zan also disappeared, making him think that the opportunity to own had finally come. 
but three years of hard pursuit can only be exchanged for a chance to team up with her to fight monsters. This is also because of pressure from the Wu family. Otherwise, he wouldn't even have the chance to form a team with the opponent. Now when he sees Chen Zan, all the past suddenly pops out of his mind uncontrollably. Seeing that someone recognized him, Chen Zan could only stop his movements, and then looked at the other person suspiciously. Do I know you? Quote dot 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 quote. Wu Ming felt an urge to vomit blood, the person I hate the most doesn't even know who I am. A nameless anger made him sneer. Hey, what's the matter? After becoming a professional, did young master Chen start to look above his head? As he spoke, he stared at Chen Zan and asked intentionally. I don't know what profession you changed to, Master Chen Yang. Come and hear it. Baffling, Chen Zan glanced at him, feeling that this man was seriously ill, so he withdrew his gaze and wanted to leave. Hey, do you want to leave now? Don't be shy, let's hear it. Wu Ming pretended to be exaggerated and said, Oh, actually, I know it even if you don't tell me, isn't it the Beast Master, the most difficult special profession to grow up, ha ha ha. What? So he is the unlucky guy you mentioned, young Master Wu. The students next to him also exclaimed when they heard it, and then laughed too. Is that red fire bird on your shoulder a contracted beast? I'm curious, how long does it take to kill a wild monster? Ha ha. Chen Zan's figure did not stop because of the words of the two, not because he was generous, but in his eyes, the two were like two dogs he met on the side of the road. The dog is barking. Should pedestrians stop to communicate? Seeing that Chen Zan left like this, Wu Ming felt that the other party had lost his fighting spirit due to amnesia, and he felt extremely happy for a while. But at this moment, he suddenly saw a figure as graceful as an elf rushing past him. Chen Zan, is that you? A slightly trembling voice sounded from behind, making Chen Zan sigh in his heart, and turn to look at the beautiful figure like a frost elf. Mu Shui, long time no see. Chen Zan greeted with a smile on his face. Okay, long time no see. The moment she saw Chen Zan, Mu Shui felt her heart speed up for no reason, and she even trembled when she spoke. You, are you okay? After a few seconds of silence, Mu Shui just said something. As soon as the words came out of her mouth, she said inwardly that she was sorry. No one knew, but she had been silently following all the news about Chen Zan. Ever since she knew that Chen Zan had become a beast master, she almost wanted to appear in front of him immediately to comfort him. But he was afraid of hurting Chen Zan's self-esteem, so he didn't take any action. Seeing Chen Zan now, I instinctively thought of what happened to Chen Zan, so I asked this question. It's over, this must have hurt his self-esteem again. What if he ignores me even more? However, Chen Zan didn't understand the meaning of Mu Shui's words, and just nodded with a light smile. Very good, I still have something to do, let's talk another day. Chen Zan was about to leave after saying that, but Mu Shui's expression changed and she said hastily. Wait, Chen Zan, are you going to level up? Let's form a team, shall we? What? The faces of the people who rushed over immediately changed when they heard this, and they all looked at Chen Zan in disbelief. Who is this guy? Can Mu Shui take the initiative to invite to form a team? Wu Ming next to me was even more angry when he heard this. How much effort did I have to make the goddess agree to form a team with me? In the end, this kid didn't even say a few words, but Mu Shui begged him to form a team. Is there any reason for this? And that tone sounded like a hint of pleading. Wu Ming, who was so angry that his seven orifices were smoking, stopped him loudly. No. Swish, Mu Shui's pretty face turned to Wu Ming, and the shy and nervous look disappeared instantly, replaced by a cold face. What did you say? I, Mu Shui, we have more than enough people to pull monsters for you. There is really no need to add more people. Wu Ming suppressed his anger and explained with an apologetic smile, besides, he is a beast master and doesn't even have a decent contracted beast. How can he have combat power? He glanced around, and suddenly his mind moved. If you add it in forcefully, so many of us have to share his experience, I'm afraid it will affect everyone's upgrade progress. As soon as these words came out, Wu Ming secretly admired his ingenious language. Connect everyone at once, no matter how much Mu Shui wants Chen Zan to form a team, everyone's feelings must be considered. Sure enough, 
someone next to him said directly. That's right, the beast master is a burden now, with purely mixed experience. That's right, besides, Mu Shui is an ice elementalist, what qualifications does he have to team up with us? Shut up. The ice cold words suddenly resounded from Mu Shui's mouth, making her long light blue hair tremble uncontrollably. Who do I need your consent to form a team with? Mu Shui's words were merciless. Since you feel that Chen Zan and I are inappropriate to form a team, then I will directly leave the team. What? The faces of everyone who heard this changed immediately. Things are getting worse. You must know that the reason why these people came here is because of Mu Shui's thigh. The special profession of the ice elementalist is not only powerful in skills, but also far superior to ordinary mages in control. If it wasn't for Mu Shui's existence, how could they have such a fast spawning speed? What shocked them even more was that Mu Shui would give up so much free labor for a beast master. You must know that the biggest weakness of the mage is the weak body and the long cooling time of skills. If you only clean up one monster, it's a waste of skills. I can't bear to lead a group by myself. In this way, it is also particularly important to be the main fighter who attracts monsters and resists blood. But if she gave up forming a team, it was equivalent to giving up her chance to upgrade quickly. Even if she can recruit people to form a team, it is not easy to find so many fighters with high-quality equipment in Frostwind City. Watching this scene, Chen Zan also had a look of helplessness on his face. He really doesn't need others to team up with him. It's really unnecessary. Chen Zan looked at Mu Shui who was a little excited. Actually, I have my own way to upgrade. Mu Shui, you should continue to form a team with them. Everyone's expressions changed slightly, many of them looked at Chen Zan in surprise. The great opportunity to form a team with a special professional mage just gave up. Is this guy out of his mind? Looking at Chen Zan's calm eyes, Mu Shui thought that the other party couldn't let go of her inner self-esteem. She wanted to explain a few more words, but there were people present and she was afraid of hurting Chen Zan even more, so she nodded. Then, if you need anything, be sure to tell me. Mu Shui said cautiously, No matter what you need, I am willing to help you. Does anything really work? Chen Zan's eyes swept across Mu Shui's perfect curves, and he seemed to be in a strange way. Of course, everything. Dot you, ah. Mu Shui nodded instinctively, but suddenly saw Chen Zan's eyes flashed, her cheeks flushed, and her legs were involuntarily clamped. Hate it, why have I never seen this guy like this before? Oh, he didn't misunderstand me, it really made me. Woohoo, what are you thinking, Mu Shui, it's really embarrassing. When Mu Shui came back to her senses, she found that Chen Zan had turned and walked away. Seeing the direction Chen Zan was heading in, Mu Shui seemed to remember something, ran a few steps quickly, and shouted. Chen Zan, there is Tarantula Valley ahead, don't go there. Chen Zan didn't stop, but just raised his hand and waved it at Mu Shui. Thank you for reminding me, you should go home early too, staying here will be life-threatening. Life is in danger. Funny, this is the novice leveling area, what danger can there be? Wu Ming gave a cold snort without hesitation. Just so, even if we go this deep, isn't it still a novice leveling area? The background of the Wu family made others follow suit. This Chen Zan really doesn't know what's good and what's wrong. Mu Shui kindly recruited him to form a team. It's fine if he doesn't join, but he still scares people. This kind of person is too submissive. My personal suggestion is to stay away from it in the future. I agree, Master Mu. Why don't we hurry up and practice leveling? According to this efficiency, I will be able to reach third level in a short time. Yes, yes, leveling is important. Seeing that everyone agreed with own one-sidedly, Wu Ming was overjoyed. He calmed down and said softly to Mu Shui who was still in deep thought, Mu Shui, you see everyone is waiting, how about we continue leveling? I won't practice anymore. To everyone's surprise, Mu Shui said coldly directly. What? Stop practicing. Why? Wu Ming was stunned for a moment, and couldn't help asking. Because I believe in Chen Zan. Mu Shui glanced at the other teammates, if you believe it, it's best to leave directly. After she finished speaking, she automatically withdrew from the team without waiting for everyone's reaction. Then, a light breeze rose from the silver-white combat boots under her feet, and she went away as quickly as a dragonfly on water. Hey, 
Why did you just leave like this? If you say you don't practice, you won't practice. Just so, no matter how great a special profession is, it shouldn't be so casual, right? Young Master Wu, what shall we do then? It's Chen Zan again. Wu Ming almost gritted his teeth and said these words. Let's go if she wants to. If Chen Zan lets go, I'll stay. I want to see, what dangers can there be in this novice leveling area? When they heard that Wu Ming was going to continue leveling, everyone responded very much. Yes, what danger is it? From my point of view, it's the wild monsters that Chen Zan wants to monopolize this area, so that's why they scare us. I don't care about him. When I meet him again, I must make him look good. In this way, in the whole team, except for Mu Shui who left alone, the other dozen people stayed here and continued to farm monsters. Even though the efficiency is much slower than that of Mu Shizai, it is still much better than going back. Comma. Outside the Tarantula Valley, a boy in black casual clothes with muddy trouser legs emerged from a slightly raised boulder. It was Chen Zan. Chen Zan looked down condescendingly. This majestic valley was silent, countless twisted trees filled the valley, their leaves were withered and yellow, and even the trunks were dry and cracked. It's like being roasted at high temperature all year round. It seems that the lava tarantulas should be hiding underground. Talking softly to himself, Chen Zan didn't enter it in a hurry, but with a movement of his palm, he took out a strange beast egg from the job transfer space. Compared with the previous beast egg of the red fire bird, this one is obviously much bigger. The light blue pattern is still lingering on the pure white eggshell, which looks quite high. Of course, what really moved Chen Zan's heart was this strange beast egg, which was said to come from a strange beast called the Blue Striped Ice Lizard. There are no Blue Striped Ice Lizards in Frostwind City at all, because although the name of Frostwind City itself has the word frost, it is because it can only welcome a frost when it is the coldest, and it is almost in a humid and hot climate most of the time. Therefore, a rare ice-type beast immediately attracted Chen Zan's attention. Just like its rarity, the quality of the blue-striped ice lizard can't be revealed. Because of this, its price is as high as 300,000 gold coins, almost one-third more expensive than other strange beast eggs. But in the end, Chen Zan gritted his teeth and bought it. After all, once you miss this kind of thing, it might be hard to come across it again. What if he was possessed by Oshen and opened a star-level beast? At that time, with the blessing of God's gift, he might be even stronger than Xiaoyan. Sky Lingling, Earth Lingling, the contract will definitely come true. After muttering a word, Chen Zan activated the God's contract without hesitation. Hum, the familiar light reappeared, the next moment, the voice of reminder appeared in Chen Zan's mind. Hint, the contract is successful. Ha ha, it's done. Chen Zan grinned, and only heard a click, and a crack began to emerge from the strange beast's egg, and then a scene very similar to Xiaoyan's breaking out of the egg emerged. When the egg shell was completely broken, Chen Zan finally saw the whole picture of this blue striped ice lizard. With a body length of nearly 20 centimeters, it has an extremely cute lizard head, its whole body is covered with light blue patterns, its tail is slightly stubby, and its short limbs are a little wobbly due to its new birth. Hint, you have obtained the contracted beast blue striped ice lizard, black iron. Chen Zan stared at the little guy for a full five seconds, then yelled angrily. Isn't this the Shugong? Chen Zan, who didn't believe in fate, hastily opened its property panel. Blue striped ice lizard, black iron. Race, gecko. Level, LV1. Life, 10. Magic power, 30. Power, 1. Agility, 0.5. Spirit, 3. Skill, Ice Crystal, Battle Power, 0.2 stars. Loyalty, 100%. Evaluation, you have to let it grow. Well, that's all for now. Quote dot 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 quote. Chen Zan's eyes darkened, and he almost fell to the ground. 300,000 gold coins in exchange for a pet gecko. Looking at this panel, it is almost a little weaker than the original Xiaoyan. Chen Zan really can't imagine that it can have any other functions besides being cute. I don't believe it. Chen Zan stared, and said to the blue striped ice lizard, Come, let's use your ice crystal technique. Ah, the little guy understood, and immediately opened his mouth to vomit. Crash, a gust of white air refrigerated in the refrigerator spit out from his small mouth, 
causing a layer of palm-sized hoarfrost to appear on the rock under his feet, which quickly melted away. Heartache to the point where I can't breathe. If it wasn't for Chen Zan and God's gift, he would have been heartbroken to death. It took a full five minutes for Chen Zan to accept this cruel fact. The little guy finally got a firm foothold on the rock, and just like Xiao Yan, he was also extraordinarily intimate with himself, and he had already crawled to his feet and began to rub his feet. Chirp, Xiao Yan suddenly fluttered her wings and let out a vigilant cry. It felt that someone seemed to be competing with it for the master's favor. Just as it was thinking about whether to spit out a mouthful of seventh-level magic to this ugly blue striped ice lizard, Chen Zan spoke. Little guy, don't blink later, it's time to witness your miracle. As he spoke, he tapped his palm and activated the skill, God's gift, on the blue striped ice lizard. Hum, bright light began to erupt from the blue striped ice lizard. Its body trembled slightly, and its big eyes looked at Chen Zan pitifully, as if frightened by this scene. Visible to the naked eye, it can be seen that the blue lines on its body surface have begun to become deep, and continue to spread towards the surroundings, gorgeous, noble, and complicated. At the same time, a tyrannical ice elemental breath erupted from its weak body. Invisibly, an incomparably loud dragon chant suddenly resounded in the void. Ah, a phantom of a sacred dragon with a wingspan of more than 100 meters and a body almost entirely made of blue ice appeared in the void. It turned out to be a giant dragon. Even though Chen Zan was prepared, he was completely shocked by the huge figure. The gecko turned into a giant dragon, and the violent impact was beyond words. This huge phantom only lasted for a moment, and then disappeared. Ah, the phantom disappeared, and the cry of the blue striped ice lizard sounded first. The sound was much louder than before, but it still sounded fierce. This time, Chen Zan will not be fooled by his appearance, he just opened the properties panel. Frost Holy Dragon, Myth. Race. Dragon. Level. LV18. Life. 512,000. Magic Power. 625,000. Power. 512. Agility. 277. Spirit. 625. Skills. Ice Mass Spike, Level 7, Holy Frost Shield, Level 8, Control of Ice, Level 9. Ice World Holy Dragon Burial, Forbidden Curse. Battle Power, 54 Stars. Loyalty, 100%. Evaluation. The Great Dragon Sitting in the Realm of Frost, the only dragon who controls all the cold, I am Frost, and I am Frost. Well, seeing this incomparably gorgeous attribute panel, Chen Zan finally let out a sigh of relief. Fortunately, the gift of God did not disappoint him. However, what was slightly different from Xiaoyan's time was that the blue striped ice lizard that had evolved into a frost holy dragon was actually at a higher level than Xiaoyan's gift this time. Could it be that the blue striped ice lizard has higher potential than Xiao Yan? No, on the contrary, Chen Zan guessed that it was probably because the blue striped ice lizard's potential was so low that under the same gift, the reward that could only make Xiaoyan grow to level 15 made him directly reach level 18, the point. At the same time, it also made Chen Zan understand an important message, that is, the stronger the contracted beast, the higher the potential it will inspire under the gift of God. Don't worry, don't worry. Chen Zan comforted himself that when he stepped into the second round, he didn't have to be completely obsessed with strange beast eggs. Some stronger alien cubs can also try. At that time, cubs with a higher level will definitely get a greater promotion after the gift. Reminder, God's feedback is in effect, congratulations on your rewards. Strength plus 50, agility plus 28, spirit plus 60, acquired skills, holy dragon burial in the ice world, forbidden spell. Good guy, is it a forbidden spell again? Chen Zan didn't expect to feed him another forbidden curse this time. In addition to the previous Wanwang Nirvana Flame, I have already mastered two forbidden spells. And it's an instant forbidden spell that doesn't need to be recited. Before, he visually estimated that releasing a forbidden spell would require at least 5 million magic power points, even if it was weakened by 10 times with the blessing of God. It also needs a magic power value of more than 500,000. He couldn't do it before, but now that he has been upgraded, he has already added all attribute points to his spirit. Coupled with the feedback this time, there has been an earth-shaking change. Name, Chen Zan. Occupation, Mythical Beastmaster, Turn 1. Level, 
LV30. Life, 102,000. Magic power, 446,000. Power, 102. Agility, 68. Spirit, 446. Skills, God's contract, God's gift, God's feedback, God's blessing, Myriad Phoenix Nirvana Flame, Forbidden Curse, Ice Realm Holy Dragon Burial, Forbidden Curse. Contract Beast. Scarlet Flame Fire Phoenix, Frost Holy Dragon. Battle Power. 42 stars. Available attribute points. 0. Tisk tisk. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Looking at his 440,000 magic power value, Chen Zan sighed deeply. It seems that the pleasure of releasing the forbidden spell is temporarily lost. Thinking of this, he stretched out his hand to hold the limp blue striped ice lizard, no, the frost holy dragon. Little guy, you have to listen to the master's words in the future. Ah, so cute. Ah, seeing how old you are, let me call you Xiaoya. Ah, Xiaoya stretched out his somewhat slender tongue and licked Chen Zan's palm, as if he was very satisfied with the name. Putting Xiaoya on his left shoulder, Xiaoyan on his right shoulder jumped up in sleep. Chirp, it protested, the shoulder is its exclusive, why give it to this ugly guy? Don't make trouble, Xiaoyan, this is Xiaoya, from now on you will be friends, don't bully him, you understand. Chen Zan was stunned for a while, by the way, is this little guy male or female? He pinched Xiaoya's neck and turned it over. After searching for a long time, he confirmed that it was also a female. Ahem, it's all right, Xiaoyan, you will be your little sister from now on, you know. Hawk, when Xiaoyan heard that she could be an older sister, her eyes lit up immediately, and she looked at Xiaoya with less hostility. On the contrary, Xiaoya looked at the flying big sister with a little fear, and curled up on Chen Zan's neck, not daring to speak. Oh my god, this sister is so scary. After finishing the two contracted beasts, Chen Zan finally turned his gaze to the Tarantula Valley below. Although Xiaoyan's forbidden spell is still in the cooldown period, but with the protection of Xiaoya's forbidden spell, he has a lot of confidence in his heart. Taking a look at the remaining time of the second rank mission, Chen Zan stopped hesitating and walked towards the valley. Chirp, with a whoosh, a blazing fireball burst out from the void, and landed heavily on a thorny ground in the Tarantula Valley. There was only a loud noise, and all the vegetation was reduced to ashes under the flames, and the five lava tarantulas hidden in it trembled a few times and died completely. Click, just as the flames dissipated, the ground suddenly rolled not far away, and then several spiders the size of a washbasin emerged from the ground. They are covered with ferocious thorns, red all over, exuding a fiery temperature. The sharp mouthparts and spider legs can easily dig holes in the ground. Feeling the fluctuation of the flame just now, many lava tarantulas came out immediately. Crack, the moment they saw Chen Zan, they rushed towards each other instantly, ready to attack. Before Chen Zan could open his mouth, the small teeth on his shoulders opened his mouth, and a stream of blazing frost spurted out from his mouth. The next moment, several lava tarantulas turned into ice sculptures and died on the spot. If there were outsiders present, they would be shocked to see that Chen Zan was able to kill the lava tarantula so easily. You must know that these lava tarantulas are genuine LV-30 wild monsters despite their small size. The lava crystal armor covered all over has an excellent defense. It's a pity that in front of the two little guys, they couldn't even handle a single skill. If you keep killing like this, when will it end? Chen Zan looked at the lava tarantulas constantly churning out of the ground, and felt that the efficiency was too slow. It's not that he didn't think about letting Xiaoya release the forbidden spell, but this place is too close to the novice area, if he doesn't control it well, maybe even the novice area will be directly covered. That is simply a disaster for those professionals. He asked himself that he was not a good person, but he didn't want to kill innocent people indiscriminately because of this. Just as he was hesitating, suddenly his gaze towards the distance froze slightly, and his eyes lit up. Yes, under the cover of thorns, Chen Zan saw that there seemed to be a dark hole in the depths of the valley. This hole is likely to be the hole where the leader of the lava tarantula enters and exits the lair. As long as he goes in along, he will be able to find the lair. Release the forbidden spell underground, so it won't affect the novice area, right? Besides, there seems to be underground lava in it, so it is absolutely foolproof. Having figured this out, 
Chen Zan immediately ran briskly towards the entrance of the cave. Cha-cha, cha-cha, lava wolf spiders made piercing hisses from their mouthparts, and they also followed closely behind. In their view, Chen Zan is a delicious meal on the move, and it is only a matter of time before it reaches their mouths. Look, they actually took the initiative to sneak into their nests, that would only kill them faster. As soon as he entered the cave, a fiery breath rushed towards his face. Followed by a reminder from the mind. Hint, you have entered the tarantula cave. Reminder, you will be eroded by the fire element, your health will continue to lose, and all non-fire skills will be suppressed, the suppression level is 1%. Hint, HP-1. Hint, HP-1. Hint, HP-1. Continuous blood loss. Chen Zan couldn't help but his complexion changed slightly when he heard the prompt, but when he saw that the blood loss was not as fast as his own blood recovery, he felt relieved and smiled instead. This shows that I have found the right place. The cave slopes down, and the surrounding rock walls seem to be smooth as a mirror because of the flames. Contrary to Chen Zan's imagination, the further you go, the more open the cave becomes. Xiaoyan summoned a fireball to use as lighting, and one can see forks in the cave constantly appearing, densely packed and intricate. But even so, the path to find the old nest is not complicated. One of the caves with a diameter of more than 3 meters is the thickest cave here, and it can be determined without too much thinking. Boom, a fireball went down, shaking the entire cave. This is Chen Zan's intentional sound made by Xiao Yan, the purpose is to attract all the lava tarantulas to avoid any fish slipping through the net. In this way, he walked forward for 10 minutes, and finally saw an extremely wide underground cave in the deepest part. A lava river that appeared from nowhere is flowing from the depths of the cave. In the center of the river, on a boulder with a diameter of more than 10 meters, a giant lava tarantula with a body length of more than 5 meters and a width of 3 meters is crawling there. Lava Spider Mother Bronze Level LV60 Chen Zan has never learned skills like appraisal technique and can only see basic information. But even so, the big scarlet letter on the lava spider mother's name is enough to show the opponent's strength. Seeing Chen Zan appear, with a swish, the eight compound eyes of the lava spider mother suddenly opened. Ah, with a roar, the terrifying sound waves turned into sound waves and continued to spread in all directions. At the next moment, densely packed lava tarantulas began to emerge from the cave. In the blink of an eye, the huge cave of thousands of square meters was completely surrounded. If anyone else was here, seeing such a large number of lava tarantulas would make their scalps tingle with fright. At this moment, even if there were 10 second turn professionals, surrounded, they would commit suicide in despair. These are all wild monsters above LV-30. Chen Zan, who saw this scene, also nodded in agreement. That's right, it doesn't look like a human being can complete the difficulty. Hum, hum, the huge lava spider mother stood up, and the light like a light bulb flickered in its huge abdomen. Apparently enough powerful skills are brewing. Seeing this, Chen Zan calmly looked at the huddled little tooth on his shoulder, and clenched his fist encouragingly. Xiaoya, it's your turn to play. Ah, hearing the master's instructions, Xiaoya raised his head timidly, looked at the densely packed lava tarantulas approaching, and let out a weak cry. Ah, the voice was so small that even Chen Zan couldn't hear it clearly. However, the moment its cry appeared, the entire underground cavern was shaken violently. All the advancing lava tarantulas stopped suddenly, looking around vigilantly with their fierce compound eyes, as if they were looking for something. What happened? Feel the temperature drop, clap. Crisp voices emerged strangely in the air, few at first, but more and more, more and more thoughtful. If you look carefully, you can find countless tiny ice crystals rapidly condensing in the air. Not only condensed, but also began to converge at an incredible speed. In the blink of an eye, a terrifying blizzard that swept across the entire underground cavern descended out of thin air. Woo, woo, the piercing frost mixed with the biting cold wind was constantly raging. With Chen Zan as the center, the terrifying frost tornado was getting bigger and stronger. Click, even the extremely hard underground cave could not bear the ravages of this tornado and was torn apart abruptly. Cracks emerged and spread rapidly toward the ground. Just a few seconds later, there was only a loud bang, and the violent frost tornado rushed out of the ground abruptly, heading straight to the sky. 
All this seems to be just the beginning. After the violent frost tornado rushed out of the ground, it began to expand rapidly, kilometers, tens of thousands of meters, tens of thousands of meters. It seems to turn every corner of the world into a world of frost. And in this world, a frost holy dragon that was completely condensed with frost suddenly formed. Ah, that roar that shook the sky came out, and all the frost stopped in an instant. Also stagnant, there is everything shrouded in the frost world. Everything is frozen and everything is buried. This is the forbidden curse, the holy dragon burial in the ice world. At this time, Chen Zan, who was standing in the underground cave, saw the lava tarantula, lava spider mother, and even the lava river that was still flowing just now were completely frozen as far as his eyes could see. The entire cave turned into a world of frost. The power of the forbidden curse is so terrifying. Chen Zan, who saw this scene, was about to speak when he heard a prompt appear in his mind. Hint, you killed the lava tarantula LV30, experience value plus one, contracted beast experience value plus one. Hint, you killed the lava tarantula LV32, experience value plus one, contracted beast experience value plus one. Hint, you killed the lava spider mother LV60, experience value plus one, contracted beast experience value plus one. Comma. Reminder, 99% of the Tarantula Plague mission has been completed. Please bring the Lava Spider Mother's Poison Sack back to the Job Transfer Temple to complete the delivery. As this done, Chen Zan was taken aback when he heard the prompt, and then grinned. He thought that the Lava Spider Mother could still struggle a bit, but he didn't expect that the other party didn't even release their skills, and it was over. This made him suddenly feel that this difficult task of job transfer doesn't seem to be that difficult. If it makes other people vomit three liters of blood, it's not that difficult. I've seen people doing quests, but no one has seen people using forbidden spells to do quests. If this fails to complete the task, then the curse will have to find a piece of tofu and crash it to death. Looking at the materials and equipment piled up in front of him, Chen Zan couldn't help but his eyes became excited. It's time for his favorite part of counting and harvesting again. But just when he was about to do it, out of the corner of his eye, he happened to see the underground caves around him that had been blown into the open air, and couldn't help but exclaim. Oops. In the novice leveling area, with a burst of shouting, a wild monster mud turtle was completely chopped down. Reminder, you killed a mud turtle LV3, and gained experience value plus 10. Reminder, your level has increased, and you will get 10 attribute points. Ha ha ha, breakthrough breakthrough. Wu Ming let out an incomparably hearty laugh. It took only a few hours for him to be directly promoted to LV3. Don't mention how comfortable I feel at this time. The others immediately gave out compliments when they heard it. Young Master Wu's combat power is not good enough. I guess he is one of the best candidates among the candidates in Frost Wearing City, right? That's right, don't even look at Wu Xiao's equipment. Apart from a few mages with extremely strong output, who else can beat Wu Xiao's output? HMPH, no matter how high the mage's output is, getting close to Wu Xiao is just a one-shot thing. The former Chen Zan said that his life was in danger. How long has it been? Not even a single hair has fallen out. I'll just say I guessed it, right? He's just trying to scare people, I didn't expect Mu Shui to really believe it. It must be Wu Xiaoying who is not fooled by him. Facing the flattery of the crowd, Wu Ming couldn't help but smile on his lips. Hee <laughs> hee, I have already seen through the mere trick. He looked outside the novice leveling area, as far as I know, the nearest wild monster map is Tarantula Valley. All tarantulas are entrenched in the caves under the valley, and never step out of the valley half-step, where is the danger? Quote. The more he talked, the more excited he looked. It's not even dangerous, let alone life-threatening. Yes, young master Wu is right. That's right. That's right, it's just a wise saying. Just do it, young master Wu, what shall we do next? Seeing that everyone was so focused, Wu Ming clenched his fists and said loudly. That goes without saying, of course we should continue to use it, we don't use it for a day. L. When Wu Ming was talking about passion, suddenly a deafening loud noise came from the distant sky. He was so frightened that he shivered suddenly, and sat down in the mud. What's that sound? Wu Ming exclaimed, subconsciously stretched out his hand, wanting someone to help him. However, 
After waiting for a full three seconds, no one reached out to help. The dignified young Master Wu unexpectedly fell down and no one helped him. Suddenly, a wave of anger rose from his heart. He jumped up from the mud suddenly, just about to get angry with everyone. However, the next moment, his figure suddenly froze in place. In the distance, a huge tornado storm mixed with countless frosts appeared out of thin air without any warning. As soon as the storm emerged, it expanded outward at a terrifying speed. Everyone was dumbfounded by this scene. Wu, young Master Wu, why is it windy? Someone asked in a daze. Such a strong wind won't blow to us, will it? Shouldn't it be? Then, should we continue to farm monsters here? That's right, young Master Wu, you said we, you, young Master Wu ran away. Just when everyone was about to seek Wu Xiao's opinion, they found that he had already run away in fright. Wu Ming ran away so decisively that he didn't even notify everyone. At this moment, no matter how much everyone wanted to please them, they were still disgusted by his operations. Run, it turns out that what Chen Zan said is true, staying here will definitely endanger your life. The people who reacted immediately began to flee in a hurry. But it is a pity that the biggest problem in the novice mud area is that the speed of travel is slow. They had just run a few steps when they felt a cold wind blowing. Subconsciously looking back, she was completely stunned by shock. A wave of pure white surged like a tsunami, and everywhere it passed, a layer of ice was completely formed everywhere. Even the wild monsters in the swamp were frozen to death. Swish, bitter wind mixed with icy cold hit, causing all the fleeing figures to stop uncontrollably. He watched as Own's body was covered with a layer of hoarfrost and then completely frozen. Wu Ming, who was running in the front, subconsciously looked back when he heard the movement and burst into tears on the spot in fright. Wow, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. At this moment, he regretted not leaving here before. But regretting it now is useless, and he can only watch the frost storm enveloping him like a god of death. Comma, report, there seems to be a strange animal riot in the direction of the novice leveling area, a terrifying ice magic outbreak, and 32 energy sources in the protective barrier were destroyed. What, the most beloved teacup in Ji Lian Hei's hand, who just thought he could be quiet, fell to the ground and shattered, but he didn't notice it. And why is there a strange beast riot? Yes, this time I heard the truth. The adjutant in charge of the investigation said categorically, I heard a dragon's roar, and even saw a phantom of a giant dragon. What, the phantom of the dragon? Ji Lian stood up abruptly from his seat, and rushed out without saying a word. The adjutant was left in a daze. My lord, do you still want to investigate in person? Check it out, don't you know how many people are leveling in the novice area? Hurry up and call priests and fire mages to save people. There are no more than 3,000 people in the novice leveling area, and these are all candidates from Frost Wearing City. Ji Leon couldn't imagine what kind of situation he would face once something happened to everyone. When he arrived at the novice swamp, he was shocked at the scene before him, and then he let out a sigh of relief. Fortunately, the center of skills is not in the novice area, so there is only a small aftermath here. As a result, although many people were frozen, they were not fatal. When the group of priests and mages come over, it won't be long before the problem can be solved. There is no need to worry about the problem for the time being, Ji Leon couldn't help but look in the direction of the storm. Could it be that master mage who shot again this time? This doubt only lasted for a moment, and then he shook his head in an instant to deny it. Impossible, how can someone master two completely different high rank skills at the same time? Lava Spiderweb Armor, Bronze. Category, Armor, Basic Effects, Life plus 500, Magic Power plus 500, Strength plus 18, Spirit plus 15, Armor plus 10. Durability, 50-50, Level Requirement, LV30. Additional effect. Lava resistance 15% increase in resistance to fire skills. Suit attributes unopened one quarter after opening, the basic value of each item will be increased by an additional 10%, and the attack will have the effect of flame poison life value minus 5 per second. Lava spiderweb boots bronze. Category. Boots. Basic effects. Life plus 100, magic power plus 100, strength plus 10, agility plus 15. Durability, 50-50, Level Requirement, LV-30, 
Additional effect. Obstacle climbing can be released once every 10 minutes, lasts for 5 seconds, can quickly traverse complex terrain. Suit attributes unopened one quarter after opening, the basic value of each item will be increased by an additional 10%, and the attack will have the effect of flame poison life value minus 5 per second. Comma. In Tarantula Valley, Chen Zan, who quickly counted the harvest, finally found that he had actually harvested a suit. Compared with the equipment obtained before, both the basic attributes and the quality have been greatly improved. But unfortunately, this is a suit for melee fighters, and it is not suitable for Chen Zan to wear it himself. In addition to this set, there are also a few scattered pieces of equipment, but they are only black iron level, and the value is not as good as this set. If there were any more, it would be two freshly released tier 2 skill books. They are, Poison Touch Tier 2 Active Skill. After release, a poisonous tentacle will attach to the target, causing continuous damage and deceleration. The damage and deceleration depend on the target level and poison resistance. Fire Arrow Tier 2 Active Skill, it can form a fast-moving flame arrow in a short time after release, and the arrow has burning and penetrating effects. These two second-level skill books are all skill books used by mages this time. But Chen Zan just took a few glances and put it away, planning to sell it to Lu Xiaoya when he gets back. In fact, if he turns to, he can also learn these two skills. But as soon as he thought of owning the skill bar, Chen Zan gave up. There is no way, the vision is too high, and the general people really look down on it. Putting all the gains into the job transfer space, Chen Zan raised his hand and put Xiao Yan and Xiao Ya into the contract space. After Xiao Ya casts the forbidden spell, his mana is almost exhausted. In addition, there was no danger around it for the time being, so he put it away. After finishing all this, Chen Zan quickly rushed out of the valley, heading towards the novice leveling area. The reason why he was so anxious was that he wanted to see how much impact Xiaoya's holy dragon burial in the ice realm had on the surrounding area. While running wildly, Chen Zan couldn't help but his heart sank. Although he had already overestimated the power of the forbidden spell, he still didn't expect it to reach such an extent. It's like thousands of miles of ice and thousands of miles of snow drifting. This is also the result of him specifically telling Xiaoya to control the release range of the forbidden spell. If this is not controlled, I am afraid that even the entire Frost Frost City will not be able to bear it. Don't take too many lives. Talking to himself, Chen Zan suddenly shrank his eyes, and saw a figure appearing in the novice leveling area. Seeing this, his eyes lit up immediately, and he rushed towards the figure. How is it? Is it going to melt? Ji Lian looked at the ice sculpture not far away that had melted its upper half and asked casually. A mage next to him nodded upon hearing this. Well, those have already melted, and have been carried away by the priests. Carry it away. Is it life-threatening? Ji Lian asked. No, it's just that the body is frozen, it's good to go back and recuperate. Oh, that's not right, they all carried it away, why did this kid only half melt? Forehead. The mage was stunned when he heard the words, and spread his hands helplessly, that is the young master of the Wu family, the city lord, you will know it after listening. The Wu family. Ji Lian just walked towards the ice sculpture after hearing the name, and happened to see two mage professionals controlling the fireball slowly baking around the ice sculpture. And Wu Ming, who exposed his upper body, was letting out a low growl of dissatisfaction. Hey, stay away, didn't you see that I was already burned? Blind man, has the ice here melted? Let me tell you, I am the young master of the Wu family. If you hurt me, be careful and walk around. The faces of the two mages next to him were gloomy. If it were someone else, they would have reprimanded each other as mages. But now I can only say nothing. Because the Wu family behind Wu Ming is indeed the number one family in Frost City. Finally, after an unknown amount of time, all the ice on Wu Ming's body was completely melted. With a snap, without the support of the ice, Wu Ming fell to the ground like a soft-legged shrimp. But before he could speak, his expression suddenly changed, and he looked between his legs. Crash! A cloudy and yellowish liquid mixed with the smell of piss flowed out of his pants. Wet a large piece on the white ice. Here, what's going on here? Wu Ming looked between Own's legs in disbelief, and couldn't believe that he would do such a shameful thing. 
But this scene fell into the eyes of the two mages next to them, but it made them feel relieved for no reason. Some even laughed uncontrollably. PFF. Ha ha ha. Hey, hey hey. Such an obvious harsh mocking sound made Wu Ming completely annoyed. He suddenly raised his head and stared at the two of them. What are you laughing at? Try laughing again. Wu Young Master, right. You're a little too involved, right? One of the mages couldn't help but sneered when he heard this. You dare to laugh at me, believe it or not, I will make you unable to stay in Frostwind City. Wu Ming blushed and growled, his legs desperately tried to stand up, but he couldn't use his strength because of the cold entering his body. Hey, you are the young master of Wu Da, how dare we laugh at you? The mage exaggerated, just now I was just in a good mood because I saved someone, so I smiled, isn't it reasonable? Yeah, another mage also nodded and said, the weather is good today, it makes sense for me to smile, right? Ha ha ha. You. Dot you. The humiliated Wu Ming desperately supported Own's body with both hands and moved to a clean position. Unexpectedly, as soon as he stopped, a thick liquid flowed uncontrollably from under him again. The familiar smell resurfaced again, and this time Wu Ming was completely terrified. Here, what is going on with me? Just at this moment, Ji Lian brought people over, and couldn't help frowning when he saw Wu Ming's situation. Anyway, you are also from the Wu family, can't you pay attention to the influence? Wu Ming wants to cry but has no tears, and I don't want to pee, but I can't control it. Seemingly seeing something wrong with Wu Ming, Ji Lian waved his hands. Ask a priest to show him what's going on. As soon as he finished speaking, Ji Lian He's eyes suddenly narrowed, and he saw a running figure not far away. Chen Zan, he didn't expect to be able to see this young man whom he had a good impression of here again. Immediately couldn't help shouting, Chen Zan, why are you here? Chen Zan, who was walking forward, couldn't help being taken aback when he heard someone call On's name, and a smile also appeared on his face when he saw Ji Lian. Another hitch ride, my lord, why have you come to the novice area? Chen Zan approached and asked proactively, hey, didn't the alien beast riot just now? Wait, did you come to pick up the leak again? Ji Lian realized immediately, Chen Zan just ran from the direction of Tarantula Valley. Hey hey, seeing this, Chen Zan sneered, my lord is smart. You kid, don't you know how dangerous it is here? Ji Lian scolded with a laugh. Looking for wealth and wealth. Chen Zan also smiled, besides, I'm back. It's okay this time, but it doesn't mean it's okay every time. Ji Lian took a deep look at Chen Zan. He didn't know if it was an illusion. He felt that this guy's strength seemed to have improved a lot. For a while, I couldn't help but love talent. Boy, do you want to join the guild now? Join now. Chen Zan was stunned for a moment, then subconsciously said, isn't that something that can only be considered after the college entrance examination? According to his understanding, the so-called universities in this world are guilds born from games. Guilds are divided into ranks 1 to 9 from low to high. The higher the rank, the more difficult the conditions for joining a guild. And every year in the college entrance examination, many guilds will pay attention to the results of candidates so as to select some outstanding students to join the guild. In fact, Chen Zan is like going to university. A good university is not only good resources, but also good contacts and background. It's just that this is the first time he's heard of joining the guild in advance. Do not you know? Ji Lian looked at Chen Zan in surprise. The guild recruits not only those who have the college entrance examination, but anyone who meets the requirements can join. Otherwise, wouldn't so many professionals who have passed the college entrance examination all become casual people? Quote. Is that so? Chen Zan also thought about it. Although the college entrance examination is very important, it is not everything after all. Yes, I heard that there are many top candidates who have already been booked by the high-ranked guild before taking the college entrance examination. Oh, that's how it is. Chen Zan nodded, but he didn't think too much. After all, he had too many secrets, so he had to be careful about joining the guild. Thinking in his heart, he subconsciously said to himself, What's the benefit of joining the guild? There are a lot of constraints, it's not worth it. Um, Ji Lian gave Chen Zan a weird look, who told you that joining the guild is not good. Let me tell you. Just as he was about to speak, a figure dressed as a priest suddenly walked beside him, saluting. 
Grown-ups, well, how is the situation of the Wu family? Ji Lian was talking about Wu Ming. The preliminary judgment is that the cold air entered the body due to the freezing time for too long, which caused the problem of urinary incontinence, and what else? Seeing that the pastor seemed a bit hesitant to speak, Ji Lian asked. Also, don't lift. E-M-M-M. Although this is a sad story, for some reason, Ji Lian has the urge to laugh. My lord, I just used my skills to initially help him suppress the cold, but it's better to send him to the hospital as soon as possible for the damage to his body. If it's too late, I'm afraid this failure will accompany me for a lifetime. Quote. So serious, is it the same for those who were sent away before? No, I have seen those before, and there is no problem. Then why can't he do it? Ah, maybe it's because of my bad waste. After hearing what the pastor said, Ji Lian nodded seriously, then walked to Wu Ming's side, patted him on the shoulder and comforted him. Don't worry, I will let someone notify the Wu family as soon as possible, I believe I will come to pick you up soon. After saying that, Ji Lian stood up, turned his head and shouted at Chen Zan. Hey, Chen Zan, where are you going? I'll give you a ride. Quote question mark question mark question mark question mark quote. Wu Ming, who was still sad, looked into the distance with a question mark on his head when he heard the words. What's the situation? I was in such a hurry to go to the hospital and you ignored me and asked to send him. But why is this guy Chen Zan who he hates the most? Flames of anger rose from his heart like a volcanic eruption. The frozen despair, the mage's ridicule, the embarrassment of the ice entering his body, and Ji Lianhe's indifferent behavior towards him finally ignited all his anger completely. Why, why did you send him? Wu Ming roared angrily, my majestic young master of the Wu family, a powerful warrior professional in the future, why isn't he better than a trash beast master like him? Why don't you send me? Ji Lian, don't think I'm afraid of you because you are the city lord. If you don't send me off today, my Wu family will definitely not let you have good fruit. Quote. Snapped. Wu Ming only felt a blur in front of his eyes, and Ji Lian slapped him with stares in his eyes. There was a pop, and a mouthful of blood mixed with two freshly baked teeth was scattered on the ground. Wu Ming was completely taken aback, he covered his cheeks and looked at Ji Lian in disbelief. You, you dare to hit me. If you talk nonsense again, I will kill you directly. Ji Lianhe's cold words made Wu Ming's heart tremble, and he swallowed the words abruptly. Facing the same disaster, you were sealed into an ice sculpture and fell ill, but people dared to go to the disaster center to reap benefits. From this point alone, you are worse than trash. How dare you let me see you off? You deserve it too. Quote. As he spoke, he raised his hand, and a tall horse covered in flames reappeared. Ji Lian got on his horse and waved to Chen Zan. Chen Zan, let's go. Okay. Chen Zan nodded and was about to go up but suddenly he paused, turned around and squatted down next to Wu Ming. After his eyes swept across the pieces of disgusting liquid, he was quite sympathetic. Although I don't know you well, don't worry, if you really can't cure it in the future, you can call me when you need it. I am very helpful, goodbye. Quote, you, Wu Ming stared at Chen Zan with wide eyes, and was about to say something, but was so angry that his eyes darkened and he passed out. Before he fainted, he couldn't help seeing a green grassland appearing above his head in his mind. Comma. Wu Ming is too arrogant, isn't he? How dare he talk to you like that? Chen Zan, who was sitting on horseback, couldn't help asking curiously. Ha ha, what do you think is the strength of the Wu family as the number one family in Yingshuang City? Ji Lian smiled and said, because they have a background of a fifth-tier guild behind them. How much energy is the fifth-order guild? Quote. Before Chen Zan could speak, Ji Lian continued with some emotion. If you mobilize the power of the entire guild, it will be a breeze to crush our Frostwind city. So exaggerated, Chen Zan's eyes moved, it seemed that he had such a clear understanding of the guild for the first time. Then, isn't the Lord City Lord worried that he will offend the Wu family? He he, Wu Ming himself can only be regarded as a son of a concubine in the Wu family, and there is still a gap between him and the son of the orthodox direct line. Ji Lian smiled nonchalantly, if the Wu family gets angry at me because of him, then they are really out of their wits. Even if it is true, do you think there is no guild behind me? Quote. 
Looking at the relaxed smile on Ji Lianhe's face, Chen Zan seemed to think of something. It turns out that the Lord City Lord also joined the Fifth Order Guild, right? Good. Ji Lian did not deny it. Chen Zan, the Function Guild I belong to and the Kuangtao Guild behind the Wu family are both fifth tier guilds. If you are willing to join, I can recommend you to the president. Having said that, Chen Zan immediately understood Ji Lianhe's intentions. The reason why he introduced so many is just to clarify the relationship behind the Wu family to himself. Then Wu Ming has always been hostile to him, and with today's incident, it may not be that he has no plans for the future. If he could join a fifth-tier guild, in Ji Lianhe's view, Chen Zan's safety would be no problem. However, Chen Zan just pondered for a moment, then declined with a smile, Thank you, the city lord, for your help, but I still want to wait until the college entrance examination is over. He didn't finish the rest of the sentence. If Wu Ming really wanted to hurt him, he didn't mind making the first move. All right, seeing Chen Zan's resoluteness, Ji Lian didn't say much, if you need help, you can come to the city lord's mansion directly to find me. Must. The two chatted for a while, and soon, the transfer temple arrived. Chen Zan greeted Ji Lian, and hurriedly rushed to the job transfer temple. His long-awaited second turn is finally here. Crunch. Chen Zan pushed the door of the job transfer temple with the mentality of giving it a try, but unexpectedly it actually opened. As soon as the door opened, the familiar nun's figure reappeared. But this time, the other party did not sleep on the table, but immediately put on a standard greeting posture and said with a smile. Hi sir, what can I do? Little big brother. Hee hee, welcome. Just halfway through the professional greeting, the nun big sister cried out in surprise when she saw Chen Zan. Ah, such a professional style is not like yours. With the previous intersection, it is rare for Chen Zan to make a joke. I thought you were already home and going to bed. Hee <laughs> hee, little big brother, stop laughing at me. The big sister pursed her lips and smiled, trying to make herself as ladylike as possible. I did intend to go home at first, but I didn't expect to receive an emergency notice saying that there was a riot of alien beasts outside Yingshuang City, and the entire city staff entered a state of emergency. Didn't I just rush back? An alien beast riot, Chen Zan froze for a moment. Could it be the fluctuation produced by Xiaoya when he released the forbidden spell? That's right, I heard that the skills released by the strange beast are terrible. Even the protective barrier has been damaged. The previous one hasn't been repaired yet, but now it's broken again. Chen Zan didn't answer, but he was certain that the two times probably had something to do with his contracted beast. Oh, I'm just busy chatting. I haven't asked little big brother what are you doing here. The nun big sister blinked her big eyes and looked at Chen Zan expectantly. Shouldn't you come back to see me? If that was the case, she would be so happy. Plop, plop. The nun big sister's heart began to beat wildly, and her legs clamped involuntarily. Oops, I want, I want. Seeing that the nun's big sister was a little out of control, Chen Zan brought her back to reality with one sentence. Ahem. I'm here to hand in the task. Oh, it turned out to be a mission, what? You completed the second mission. The sudden scream directly exposed the nature of the nun's big sister. But she couldn't care anymore at this moment, her eyes widened in disbelief, wondering if she had heard it wrong. As an incumbent in the career-changing temple, the nun big sister is responsible for simple tasks, but she has the authority to view the job-changing records. This permission is not to view the information of the job changer, but simply to view the difficulty of the job transfer task of the latest job changer. And this authority can only view job transfer tasks with a difficulty level below level 3. The big sister, the nun who is very fond of Chen Zan, chose to check the difficulty of the other party's job transfer task as soon as Chen Zan left. What did she find out? Unknown. Using the authority but not finding the result can only explain one possibility. That is the difficulty of the task Chen Zan accepted, at least level 4 or above. As far as she knew, even the lowest level 4 difficulty would take at least several days to complete. If it is high, it is not impossible for a few months, or even more than half a year. But now, how long has Chen Zan been out? In just a few hours, he actually completed the second rank mission, which is simply unimaginable. In fact, if the nun big sister knew that Chen Zan had accepted the highest 6th level job transfer task, 
she would probably be shocked and undress on the spot. Ahem, yes, can I just hand in the task? I'm in a hurry. Chen Zan coughed and asked. He always felt that the big sister looked at him a little piercingly, as if he was going to eat himself at any time. Oh, okay, you can just go in after handing in the task. The nun big sister came to her senses and quickly stepped aside. She really wanted to knock Chen Zan down here, but unfortunately she knew it was impossible. Thanks. Nodding his head, Chen Zan hurriedly walked in. Boom. The door closed, and the nun big sister opened the chat list in her address book without hesitation. Lick no. 2. Honey, what did you say you want to eat with your boyfriend just now? Licking no. 2. I have transferred the money to you, have you received it? Licking no. 2. Honey, why are you ignoring me? Lick no. 2. Dear, 3 poor, is it because you don't have enough money? Lick number 2 transfers 200 gold coins to you. You have received 200 gold transfers. Lick no. 2. Great, dear you finally have news. The queen has turned on friend verification, and you are not his, her, friend yet. Please send a friend verification request first, and the other party can only chat after the verification is passed. Lick no. 2. No, why? What is this? Comma. Boom. The door closed at the back, and Chen Zan stood in the center of the hexagram again, and with a movement of his palm, he took out the lava spider mother's poison sack. Prompt, a task item is detected, do you want to trade it? Yes, reminder, the task is completed, congratulations on completing the second rank task, not a difficulty that humans can complete, and the baptism starts. Hum, before Chen Zan could react, he felt that the runes around the job-changing temple were emitting a dazzling light. The light completely enveloped his body, and he felt that all attributes of his body were rapidly improving under the cover of this light. Chen Zong learned in school that every time he changes jobs, except for two more skills that are fixed, the transformation of attributes varies from person to person. In other words, professionals with stronger potential will benefit more when changing jobs. Reminder, the job change is complete. Congratulations, you have become a second-turn professional. Your attributes have been greatly improved and you have gained two skills. Tip please check the property panel for details. Reminder, the current accumulated experience value has automatically increased the level. View, must view. Chen Zan opened the property panel almost at the same time as the prompt sounded. Name, Chen Zan. Occupation, God of Mythology, Turn 2. Level, LV40. Life, 225,000. Magic Power. 565,000. Power. 225. Agility. 188. Spirit. 565. Skills. God's Contract, God's Gift, God's Feedback, God's Blessing, Myriad Phoenix Nirvana Flame, Forbidden Curse, Ice Realm Holy Dragon Burial, Forbidden Curse, Eye of the Beginning of the Yuan Dynasty, Edict of the Beginning of the Yuan Dynasty. Contract Beast. Scarlet Flame Fire Phoenix, Frost Holy Dragon. Battle Power, 52 stars. Available Attribute Points, 100. Chen Zan swept his eyes, and finally had a clear understanding of this job change. The first is Attributes, almost every attribute has increased by more than 100 points. This is equivalent to the benefits that can only be obtained after more than a dozen levels of upgrades, and it turned out to be fully realized after one job change. According to the increase of regular second-turn professionals, the increase of normal difficulty is around 30 points. And because he completed the highest difficulty, he has nearly doubled his attribute increase by 60 points. Coupled with the double income of the difficulty reward, it directly soared by around 120 points. In terms of attributes alone, it is already nearly 10 levels ahead of other second-turn professionals. Moreover, the experience points he accumulated from killing monsters before allowed him to skyrocket by as much as 10 levels after changing jobs. There are still 100 attribute points that can continue to be used, which greatly shortens the time for upgrading. Not only that, in addition to the increase in attributes, Chen Zan is full of expectations for two brand new skills. He looked directly at the skill bar, and after clicking on the introduction of the skill icon, even Chen Zan couldn't help but gasp. Hiss, isn't this too awesome? Eye of the beginning of the Yuan dynasty, when Yuan returns to the beginning, and everything returns to the Yuan.
The eyes of the incarnation Yuanchu can see through everything in the world. After using it, you can check the detailed information of all things, and nothing can be hidden. Check the information of all things. Isn't that the appraisal technique? Chen Zan was initially confused by the introduction, but after a while he suddenly came back to his senses, and it turned out that this skill was actually an identification skill. It's just that this skill is different from other skills in that it can detect everything, and it ignores any requirements for level and job transfer. Could it ignore the level and job transfer to check any information? Thinking of this, Chen Zan couldn't help the corners of his eyes twitching, showing surprise. If this is the case, then this skill is too awesome. You must know that any kind of appraisal technique has requirements for the user's level. Once the level exceeds too much, the appraisal technique will not be effective. Even if someone has passive skills or equipment similar to anti-appraisal, they can completely block other people's investigations. But this eye of the beginning of the Yuan dynasty can ignore these and check all the information, which has to make Chen Zan amazed. Moreover, he also found that although these two skills did not carry the word of God, they did not show the mark of rank like the previous four skills. Is the skill too low, or is it too high to reveal the skill itself? The answer can only be the latter. This shows that the skills that Chen Zan possesses have even surpassed the scope of forbidden spells. The Eye of the Yuan Dynasty is already so powerful, so what does the Yuan Dynasty's decree mean? After calming down his thoughts, Chen Zan quickly looked at another skill. Edict of the Beginning of the Yuan Dynasty Passive Skill you have an order rune born from the chaos of the beginning of the Yuan dynasty, which will provide shelter from the beginning of the Yuan dynasty, immune to any non-energy attack, such as curse, witchcraft, soul attack, deduction, etc. Wait. And when attacked, a counterattack will be generated according to the attack state. While checking the skills, Chen Zan suddenly found that with a little induction, he could actually see a mysterious rune shining with a misty light in the depths of his mind. This rune is the imperial decree at the beginning of the Yuan dynasty. He observed intently, only to find that the edict was not immutable, but was completely condensed from chaos. The rays of light flow inside, and there are stars, the earth, rivers and mountains that are constantly evolving and never stop. The light emitted by the imperial decree at the beginning of the Yuan dynasty did not seem to be strong, but it completely shrouded Chen Zan's fate. Since then, no one will be able to see his true information unless he takes the initiative to appear. Some people even forcibly snooped and were subject to backlash. Haha, ha, it's true that someone will give you a pillow when you're drowsy. Chen Zan laughed heartily. Before, he was worried about whether his own information would be exposed. After all, the release of the forbidden spell twice in succession had already caused quite a disturbance. As his level increases and the number of contracted beasts increases, the probability of releasing the forbidden spell will definitely increase in the future. Not being discovered now does not mean not being discovered in the future. But now, with the protection of this decree from the beginning of the Yuan dynasty, his chances of being exposed have been greatly reduced. Call, taking a long breath, Chen Zan felt that he had gained a lot from this job change. Although the attributes didn't increase much, these two skills were really powerful. If this is the case at the second rank, what skills should appear at the third rank? For a moment, Chen Zan couldn't help but look forward to it. The anticipation is the anticipation, and for the time being, he has to finish the business. He plans to go to the Demao Trading Company first to take the harvest of killing monsters. Then take a break, wait until tomorrow to find a place to level up and strive to level up to LV60 as soon as possible, so that you can start the third rank job task. With an idea in mind, Chen Zan wanted to look away and prepare to leave the career transfer temple. But suddenly, out of the corner of his eye, he stopped when he saw the name of the property panel. Mythical Royal Saint, what's going on? Chen Zan didn't notice before that he even changed his name. A good mythical beast master turned into a mythical master. With doubts, he suddenly discovered that there was, after the name. When he clicked on it, it turned out to be the full name of the entire name, the mythical beast master Saint Tudor. What, the holy beast master, isn't that the same as the holy magister? Chen Zan felt a shock in his heart, he was too familiar with this name. Because in the teaching materials, the teacher has repeatedly used the job titles of professional magicians to classify them. 
from the initial magic apprentice, all the way to the great magician, magister, and even the grand magister. And this holy magister is the title of the legendary Nine Cycles Mage Professional. I'm only on the second turn, how did it become the title of Nine Cycles? Chen Zan looked at the name in disbelief, and a question suddenly appeared in his mind. Now it is the mythical royal sage, what will happen after that? With doubts, Chen Zan left the career-changing temple without even saying hello to the nun's big sister. After making the big sister of the nun feel disappointed, she also blacked out who licks the dog. If you want to wear the crown, you must bear the weight. Along the way, Chen Zan felt that after his name changed, he couldn't reveal his own information. There are too many people with ulterior motives, and no one knows when they will be calculated. With this in mind, Chen Zan added 100 attribute points to his spiritual attribute without hesitation. In this way, his spiritual attributes directly increased to 665, and with the increase of God's blessing, he reached the magic power level of 660,000. What does that mean? It means that Chen Zan himself can release a forbidden spell. If the cooling time of the two little guys has passed, it is equivalent to that he can release three forbidden spells at the same time. This naturally greatly guaranteed Chen Zan's safety. Thinking of this, the sense of urgency in Chen Zan's heart was slightly reduced, and in the evening, Chen Zan also appeared at the gate of Damao Trading Company again. Mr. Chen, you're not here to see me this time, are you? Looking at the handsome Chen Zan, Lu Xiaoya couldn't help but make a little joke. She remembered that Chen Zan just came here today, and she never thought that he would come to sell items again, so she asked this question. Hee hee, Sister Ya is so beautiful, everyone wants to take a closer look. Chen Zan smiled lightly, but before I look at it, I have a few things to get rid of. As he spoke, he waved his hand and took out all his harvest in the Tarantula Valley. Black iron, bronze, and skill books. Seeing a few unusually eye-catching lights shining among the mountains of objects still piled up in the private room, the dignity on Lu Xiaoya's face could no longer be maintained. Are you maxing out a secret realm? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.